Good evening! Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening! Welcome, welcome back to Heaven's Vault. The story so far, as it always is. Alias search for the robot this Juniki Ramba has entered the wreckage of his ship. Renro was looking for the vault, an ancient observatory he believed to hold the only hope of preventing a darkness from overtaking the nebula. Perhaps other sites like the mysterious Withering Palace mentioned by an ancient voice from the past will yield more clues. Meanwhile, her robot six has been remembering strange things from before being buried. Dun dun dun! Puzzle Master! Yo! You have arrived just in time to commence things. Renba's dig site, that's it. We were at the giant hole in the ground. That was a thing, and we were figuring out what was in the giant hole in the ground and whether we could get into the giant hole in the ground. General consensus is probably not, but there is a crane here, so I think I were, I think I was probably playing with a crane <laughs> last time we left off. Is there any way I can like ride this down? Okay. Uh, cool. I guess this is what crushed Yazi's arm. Fun times. They rebuilt it. Kept on working. Never mind the injuries. Mistress, I, I do not think Remba had an ethical core, Mistress. I think Remba might have been well suited to his robots. Can we not ride it down? I guess there's not much rope there, so maybe not. Can we use it? I could interact with it there. Lifting equipment, but not very good lifting equipment. And whatever Master Rambo was doing here, Mistress, he was doing it secretly, not well. Fair play to him. All right, uh, there must be some secrets in here. I didn't come here to pick up two translations scrawled by illiterate people on the side of a tent. Whatever there is here, there is more. We could carry on down again. It didn't go well last time. I don't see why it would go well again. Ooh, there's a thing. How far does it go? Evidently, it is quite a drop, mistress. Whatever was being uncovered was well buried. Uh, I guess we've, seen, we've done a lap. We must have seen everything. There must be a way down into this. We didn't come all this way to not get to the bottom of it all. Can I just climb down the hook? Somehow? Let's go back down. See, there's a rope there. Climb down the rope. It's easy. Fine, then. Ah, this plank was loose. I could probably drag it. Mistress, please! The hopper will not work under the tent canopy. If you fall, you will not fly up again. You'd find a way to get me out, though, wouldn't you? Your, eth your ethical core would demand it. I appreciate your faith in me, mistress, but I am not magical. Yep, we move in this plank. I'm sure I can do this. This is going to work out fine. Excellent. With luck, that should hold. Here goes nothing. Yes. Easy. That wasn't so bad. But there is no way for me to follow, mistress. Then stay there. You can keep watch. I will keep watch for your common sense, mistress. You clearly dropped it somewhere. <laughs> oh, this robot. There were two options there. I just clicked instinctively. I don't know what my other option was. Well, there's certainly something buried down here, but I can't make out what. Whatever it is, mistress, it has been down here for some considerable time. Why didn't Janiki use robots for the dig? It must have taken forever to excavate all this. I believe the answer is obvious, mistress. Well, Six, enlighten me. Why didn't Renba use robots? 
Robots cannot keep secrets, mistress. Every robot has a master. Remember, didn't want Mayari to know? Perhaps Mayari... Or perhaps Mayari has a master of her own. There's something here. An edge. And another ladder. Woo! Cool. I can't really see anything. I wonder what Yazi's up to. With luck, he has not stolen your ship, mistress. Of course he hasn't. How could he fly with only one arm? Piles of cloth. It must be, it must be nearly 950 years old, mistress. It survived well. The moon is moistureless, mistress. Things do not rot here. Open it up. Let's see what's buried down here. I do not have friendships with other robots, if that's what you mean. I don't know what the conversation this was in regard to. Would you like some friends? We could set up a play date. I am quite content, mistress. Wooden spa? Inset with metal rings for ropes. Oh, we'll find you some robots on Iox. Mistress, it's not like you fraternize with other humans. We're very similar, perhaps. Mistress, I do not wish to discuss this further. Really? Why not? I appreciate your understanding, Mistress. Thank you. We're not so different, you and I. Uh, oh, we've got another plank. It's not that far down. Longer than the ones higher up. Will this one hold? Mistress, I beseech you. If I might remind you. If you break your leg down here, you will stay here until it heals. You'd think of something. Perhaps I could shoot a hole in the tent canopy with a scathing look. Sketching look? There's some typos in this bit. We're getting into the bit that's been less well QA'd. <laughs> I assume you heard the plank creaking, mistress. What's in the box? What's in the box? Bits of metal. Fittings, eyelets, hooks. Spare parts. And something else. It's a black scrap of sailcloth. Dating from at least the earliest empire period. No embroidery in the cloth. But I don't think we've seen anything like this scrap of sailcloth before. Which means it's a new place! So I think this comes from somewhere I never knew existed. Dun dun dun! Which comes from... Ooh, it hasn't even like given me a location. I thought it would be like, there's a thing over here! Apparently not. The Withering Palace 6. Somewhere in the Withering Ways, perhaps? Would make sense. Another generator. What are the chronicles of Mazwai that Huang's always reading about? I believe Mazwai was a pilgrim sailor. She wore, she writes about the pla various places of Nebula and about how the Great Loop has acted in these places. Oh, let's see what's down here. Weird, weird here. We've kind of got like two conversations going on separately. What is that? Is that a hull? Mazwai believes in the loop, then? Mazwai, Mazwai is an original source for the hypothesis, mistress. As much as anything is a source in the loop, mistress. Master Huang says the book became common shortly after the establishment of the Holy Empire. How do I get down? Can I get back? I'm coming back across. Mistress, I cannot advise. <gasps> it's gonna break! Oh no! Let's see, it wasn't that far down. Oof. Oof. Mistress, are you all right? Ouch. I'm all right, more or less. There's some cloth here, which we knew about before. It broke my fall. Can I dig it up now? Huh, there's a metal ring. 
It's a hatch, and it's etched with symbols in ancient. <gasps> Treasures for... They look like they're at least a bit related to each other. Ooh. Something to do with the Emperor's Light. Treasures for... Unless Treasures was wrong. We weren't sure about Treasures before. Something to do with the Emperor's Light. Wine. Clearly wine is the Emperor's Light. Why did Remba need an old boat dug up? I mean, I guess he didn't know it was a boat before he got here? Why he started digging here? He must have had something to go on to start digging here, but whether he knew it was a boat before he dug it up or not, I don't know. I don't know if he knew he was digging for a boat or if he was just digging for something that he knew to be here. Not to mention, he might be digging for whatever's in this trapdoor. Um, Emperor and Light could make happiness? I'd just love to say wine, but <laughs> I don't think that's true. Look at treasure again. Treasure would be Frida under streams of freedom. So it could be freedom for labor? Work makes you free. Ooh, uh, uh, maybe not. That's, that's uh, slightly ominous. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I'm, well, I actually might genuinely be it, but that's a little bit Nazi. <laughs> uh, does that make sense? On a, on a trap door? Why would it be down here? Freedom for labor. Treasures for happiness. Treasure makes you happy. I mean, if not, if not treasure, then that um, treasure of happiness. Well, that doesn't mean of, it means for. Treasures for, it would be treasures for happiness. But treasures do make you happy. That is true. If this is wrong, the only time we've encountered that word was on the treasure chest. I think. I can't remember where else we've seen it. Which would make the treasure chest... Freedom, not treasures? Whether that would make sense in context or not, I can't remember the exact sentence that was on the treasure chest. I guess Emperor Light could make happiness. I don't necessarily think that Emperor and Light sort of makes labor. The Light is happiness. The Emperor makes you happy, right, maybe? Tre yeah, the Pandora's box box, that's the one. Does Treasure for Happiness work? Buried treasure, is it, Remba? Is that what all this is about? Uh, we got we got to nosy at everything else before we open that door. There's an inscription here. Ooh, more light. Uh, this is the end of a line of text. Something to do with a star. And something to do with winds. And... Winds of star... Mistress, that translation is clearly incorrect. There must be another possibility. Star is garbage, then. So we'll have winds of... I can have my translation to, for winds to my dictionary now. Cool. Uh, yeah, star... <laughs> I, just, I just translated that as two separate words, star light, but actually it's all one word, starlight. So I was kind of, I was pretty much right anyway. I was like, this is star and then there's more light. That's light. It would need that to be a separate word for light. But on its own, it just becomes starlight. Winds of starlight? It does sound like it could be the name of a ship. I've never seen a ship this big. Six. This thing down here. It's a boat. 
and possible mistress is far too large to fly. Have you checked that? Evidently, it is extremely big, mistress, based on the curvature of the hull. 20 to 30 times the size of the nightingale. Imagine it intact. An enormous hull, multiple sets of sails. How does it end up here? Was there not something to see over here? I thought there was. I can't imagine how such a boat could be launched. The uprivers here are barely strong enough to lift a nightingale into the sky. Maybe the uprivers were stronger in the past. There's no upriver on this moon. That explains why the buried ship is still here. Once it landed, it could not leave. From the damage, I would suggest that it crashed. Alright, let's see what's in the treasure chest. I peered down into a dusty, gloomy space. Mistress, please do not stick your arm in there. <laughs> Just stick my arm in there. <laughs> do you want to come down here and help? You are well aware I do not de deal in hypotheticals, mistress. Here's what I don't understand, Six. The boat. How did Rimba know it was there? Are we going in? Maybe I can just... Pull out this giant purple thing? What? Mistress, there's something here. I found something. That was not the giant purple thing that we just saw. What? What is that? What was the giant purple thing? Uh, is it... Some kind of glass? Crystal. Find the purple. See the purple thing. What's the purple thing? There's... I, I vaguely get the impression we're not supposed to be able to see the purple thing. It looks like... From a video game perspective, it looks like a missing texture or something, frankly. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, we now know that a, a hidden site exists somewhere. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm coming back up. Mistress. Let's play with the Plex again. I know how much you love this, Six. <laughs> I love that this is equal parts adventuring and winding Six up at the same time. I mean, we need to do it, because, like, how else will we find things? But winding Six up is just a bonus. Might be a copy of the robes we found? Maybe. That was, that was just, like, a big block of just, like, day glow, pink, purple kind of thing. Um, don't think the robes were just a, like, a brick of, like, luminous neon purple. I'm not going back down there again. I'll take it we got everything then. So why did Renber leave that there? If he got the treasure, why didn't he leave with the treasure? He dug all that hole, and then the thing that was buried at the bottom, he just left. Is this not how we got out? Where did we get in? Oh, we got in down the far end, didn't we, I think? The simple fact that nobody has remarked on it makes me think it probably wasn't supposed to be seen as bright purple. Where the heck was the entrance to this tent? We came right round... Oh, I'm sure it was somewhere along this side, wasn't it? Oh, it's there. I walked right past it. I'm an idiot, clearly. It's a slightly different colour to the rest. Let's get back to the ship. Yazi? What are... He's done one with the ship, hasn't he? He's gone! Wait, what? Just pass My out the moment we went outside? Cracked open. 
I was not aboard the Nightingale. What's above? Did something fall there on me? No sign of the robot. Where am I? Have I been kidnapped? I'm in a very small space. <laughs> no room for a camera to move. Low on oil. Makes sense. Everything's running out here. Any way to light it? Looks like it needs a taper. I probably shouldn't burn the tent down anyway. Six wouldn't like it. Oh, I've got to find Six. Six has the hopper. Empty now. Voices? Coming from outside? No, oh, he's still here. It's simple. She has a ship. We need to leave. We can't just leave her here. The food is all but gone. The water too. She's from Iox. She has a robot. If I can come for you, someone will come for her. This is not good. I like the waters they didn't tie my hands together. Alright, I've got what I wanted. Time to go. Yeah, as he left me behind. Let's uh let's get let's get out of here. One last slice. They're gone. That's the window there. You're in trouble now. Where's six? They're going for the ship. Ooh, something gleaming. Let's do some translation before we go. There's something under this crate. Something here. A dented compass decorated with the outline of a bird. Dating from the early empire? This is obviously the time for it. <laughs> this is definitely a time to be stopping and getting our notebook out. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a long one. Oof. Okay. Let's put and in there. And seems like a good starting place. Breaks things up a bit. Will... And the winds, we just translated winds. That's give me give me that. There, there we go. The oh that's time, isn't it? Even before the words there, that's time. That's our sort of elemental construct. Plus the symbol that we've associated with all the time words. That is time. Time and winds will Does this fit anywhere? Da, 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 da. Offers? I don't remember doing anything with offers before. And also that doesn't seem like that fits. Maybe? Oh, it could be give. Time and winds will give. Uh, what else have we got? Give. This doesn't feel right. I was offers that's wrong. Okay, fine, 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 fine. In fact, they could be used as the word give seemed right. Uh, us wins and will. The squiggly thing must be and. And will must be correct too. Yeah. Time! Yes! I love it. Uh... Time and winds will This is used in like give toward I feel like guide But you've got this which is used in fire and death could be kill Then you've got this, which is uh, generally used in people, I think, isn't it? Um, I think guides. Time and winds will guide us. On a compass, no less. So, you know, actually, that makes a lot of sense, actually. A device for watching the winds and flows of the river. Invaluable, especially if you didn't have a robot. 
I hazard, this, hazard that this comes from the same place as the scrap of sailcloth and the dull crystal I found here earlier. There must have been a strong connection between these two places. This should help us do our miraculous hand wavy thing where we can find out locations from things. Six is here! What? Where did you come from? But that's not all. My robot has magically appeared again. What's this? This is a highly ornate chart of the nebula. Looks like something from the earliest empire period. I hardly recognize any of these river shapes. That central swirl must be the Iox spiral. And something written inside the spiral. Ooh. This one has several words. Uh, empresses? Don't think that's right, actually. Unless that's a word unto itself, but I suspect it's not. Yeah, no. Shall... Yeah, Empresses is wrong. No good, I'd have to start again and try it a different way. Yep, called it. Cool. I like that I'm actually starting to understand this language well enough. That... Oh my god. Uh, place plus Emperor means palace, I think. And people plus time plus people plus command. Palace of princes or goddesses? Don't necessarily think it would be soldiers. Princes or goddesses makes a lot of sense. But then again, we already have a word for goddess. Why would... Why would do we not? <laughs> Wait. Have we not confirmed a word for goddess? I'm sure we already did. So if, if so, that's a wildly different word for goddesses. It's got to be princes, surely. Palace of princes? A name for Iox, perhaps. I suppose you do command soldiers, that's fair, I suppose, but I don't think you normally identify people by the soldier station there. Alright, well, we now can figure out where the ancient site is because we are really good at guessing locations from a map. Six. Mistress. I trust your cranium is intact. You have to stop them, Six. I think they're going to take the ship. I believe that to be unlikely. But if I may, I believe we should leave this moon swiftly. Can you just hopper us in there and beat them to it? That would be great. Have you done something to the Nightingale? Nothing, mistress. But I do suggest we remove it. I will activate the hopper now. Yeah, that's what I figured. Let's just teleport in there before they get back. Cool. Are we just leaving without them? That's hilarious. There's, after all, I, I, I was wondering how we were going to deal with that issue of, like, logging an extra NPC around forever. But apparently we're just going to abandon them on a deserted moon because they're treacherous snakes. Cool, 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 cool. We returned to the ship and sprang up into the water. We should sail to Iox and tell Mayari what we've seen, but to be fair, I've been saying that for a few months now. I'm sure she wants to see the crown. Quite certain. Still doesn't mean she's going to get to see it, but, you know... <laughs> I think I can see them. I can see Yazi's limp. What do we do about those two down there, Six? How's your ethical core going to handle that one? We can't just leave them. I can hover down and retrieve them, Mistress. Do you think they'll try to overpower me? Steal the ship? The man has only one functional arm, Mistress. The woman doesn't, though. I would say the odds are even, or better. You think we should? No, mistress. I am quite content to leave them behind. <gasps> Your moral core! What? Ethical core. However, I would anticipate such an action would cause you some internal harm. You have a core as well as I. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. You don't command the prince, but like the prince gives commands, right? He's in charge. That's, that's my thoughts on the c prince command connection. Uh, alright. Do we go get them? 
and suddenly have two extra people to deal with, or do we just, like, leave them to fend on a deserted planet with almost no food? But as he said, you know, someone came and got her, so someone was, he was sure somebody would come and get me before I ran out of food, so, you know, someone might come and get them before they run out of food, by his own logic. They could be interesting leads to bring him on board. Have we not got, like, a brig that he can hopper them into? Or if I just get, like, something really heavy and wait for them to come on board and then just knock them out and tie them up. Just ambush them the moment they appear on the ship. I don't think any of these are going to be options available to me. But I totally don't trust them. But I also don't think the right thing to do is just to completely abandon them on the moon. Oof. Uh... uh... Alright, go and get them. Really, mistress? You came back for us. The robot made me do it! <laughs> Let me make something clear right now. You try anything, and I'll toss you overboard. Yes, Micus. Don't start with the Micus again. He understands Ioxian. I'm not an Ioxian. I'm from Elbereth. Look at you. You have a ship. What are we going to do with you? There's nowhere, there is nowhere in the nebula for us. On Elbreth we are slaves. I will have to return to the market. Oh, that's her. I am owned. You can see her for the post. Um, I don't want to choose for you, but I've got to take you somewhere. There's a moon, Renaki. I've heard of it. A market moon. We might find work there. Okay, I can take you to Renaki. Six, chart our course. Or at least you are safe, sir. No one is ever safe, Yazi. Yes, mistress. Ooh, okay, so we've got two overlaps here. Both need finding. Oh my god, Renaki is so far away. Oh my god. Uh, Renaki is a marketplace somewhere in the wilds. I've never been there, but I've agreed to take Yazi and Saya there. Oh no, um... I was kind of hoping I could just have a, like, a dig around somewhere in these charts, these parts of the lands, and see if I could just turn up, like, a moon completely by chance, just to see, like, just to see if that was a thing you could do, because I think it is a thing you can do. Uh, whew, I mean, I... Maybe I could just autopilot it there. I'm hoping I can just be like, Six, take the wheel, because I can't be asked. I'm not a fan of handing it over to Six, as we saw last time, but... Thing to Renaki and the Renaki Reach via the Verdant Pass and the Silk Pass. But it, that is a long way, that's a lot of flying. Can I... Let me hand it over to Six. This is what I don't understand about Renba Six. What makes a roboticist take up treasure hunting? What got him started? A robot mistress? I think it was R to hand it over to Six before, but it's not letting me do that right now. I think there must be certain moments at which point it says, Okay, you can do this now. The route goes left ahead, mistress. I need to find some rapids. How did Rimba know that boat was buried there? Whee! 
He's walked out across the plane and stopped and pointed down. And he said, you dig here. Oh, I guess that's probably Yazzie, isn't it? He said, you dig here. And there it was. Hard to tell who's talking when they're all just got... They should, like, at least change everyone's text colour or something to del delineate the characters. Oh, gee, give control to Six. You can sail for a while, Six. I'm going to go on with this bottle of wine while you do the flying. I'm going to rest. Thank you, mistress. Do we still like, we still have to watch the flight, right? <laughs> oh no, okay. I thought it was going to be like the taxi journeys in GTA. You get in a taxi and like, you can skip it, but otherwise you can just like watch the AI try and get you, vainly try and get you somewhere. It often doesn't really work, but hey. Perhaps Yazi and Saya can be here, happy here. Welcome to Renaki. Mikus. I didn't know there were places like this. I'd heard, but... Yazi. They are looking at us. Uh, they're only looking at the robot. People are commonplace. You'll fit in. So? What should we do? <laughs> Uh, good luck. <laughs> good luck to you both. Ioxian. Had we stolen your boat, we would have sailed forever and never found this place. Good faith to you. You left me to die, Yazzie. We are not friends. One last thing. What was Rainbow looking for out there? Do you know? An artifact. A telescope, I think. Once he found it, that was when he left. He barely even tied up the tent. Hmm, the telescope must be linked to the observatory. He was following some kind of trail. Mistress, I was not aware of this. What are you looking at, Yazi? You too. Look at you. You could be sisters. What makes you say that? Can't you see it? Something around the eyes. And steel inside them. I'm from Iox, but I'm not from Iox. What? Do you think so? Yeah, I see it. Don't you go falling in love with an Ioxian, Yazi, or I'll break your other arm. I grew up in an orphanage on Elbereth. I never knew my parents. If they were my parents, then you were better off without them. Are your parents still alive on Elbereth? I wouldn't care if they were. You're better off as you are, Alia. Don't go chasing ghosts. You might find them. Good faith to you. I had a few days to pocket the treasures the Ioxian wretch left behind. They should be enough. Come on, Yazi. And hold up your head. Now let's see if we can find anything I want we from this place. Out the alley mouth into a bustling street. Yeah, okay. Whole new place. Any sign of ruins on this moon? No, mistress. This moon appears well inhabited. Nothing here is old. Talkers shouted each other down about their wares. I don't recognize half of these fruits. Do you grow them locally? I grow them in my tubs on my roofs. Would the lady care for a flat mango, perhaps? Ooh, flat mango. Um, I'm just passing by, thank you. Of course, fine lady. I really must get myself another customer. <laughs> You're other than your only one. What? Oh, wait, can I... Wait, ha oh, shoot, I should have bought an apple. It might have, like, led to conversation. Dang it. Not that I, like, I know how money works here, because I, like, I ain't got any money money. Lanterns. I wonder if the glass is blown locally. 
People here seem affluent. My analysis of the air suggests a high moisture content. They have water. They must be rich. Wait, 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 I could talk to them. No, I wanted to talk to them. Come back here. You, fine, I'll talk to you. Fine, okay, I won't. Jeez. Maybe I could retire somewhere like this. Seems comfortable. Can I not get through any- where can I go on this moon? That doorway is not actually passable. It doesn't actually seem like there's much here. They can't be just dropping those two off. This place doesn't seem wealthy compared to Iox. Iox is staggeringly wealthy, mystery. mistress. Iox is wealthy enough not to trade. Rugs. The pattern's similar to the one on the Nightingale. Mayori gave me that one. I thought we didn't get on. Now she has given us gifts. Hello, anybody home? Let's see if there's anyone here through here worth the talking to. Renaka seemed to never end. Shoemakers sold boots to the fruit sellers, who sold sour apples to the knife makers, whose blades the shoemakers used to make boots. I don't know if anyone on Renaka ever slept, but if they did, I bet they bought and sold their dreams. This place is so happy. I can't imagine Elbereth being like this. Wealth and distance from Iox. Jars for water? Or oil, perhaps? They seem to sell everything here. Look in here. Those are lizards, aren't they? Gecko! All colors! A fountain Can we buy a gecko? I don't want but let's buy a gecko. Spitting at passes by. Want to buy a lizard six? Why would I want to buy a lizard? You never know when you might need a lizard. <laughs> Indeed, mistress. I will note this location should I encounter a lizard requiring event. <laughs> uh, yo, Donald, hey. Uh, there is, like, whenever you enter a new area, um, our protagonist here gives us, like, a line or two. Um... For what it's worth, and I have said this before, I am not particularly a fan of that voice actor for this character. She's got this sort of, I mean, and then probably it's probably just the attire, but the attire's got that sort of sort of Middle Eastern explorer, golden age kind of like Persia, I suppose, kind of thing going on. This is the time of the British Empire and wealth and gold and trading spices and things, and I suppose British Empire is bad choice of words when I suggest that I don't think the British accent fits her but yeah she's got that very very London accent kind of thing going on and I don't like it I don't think it really fits Aaliyah at all she I don't know what accent she should have but like kind of South London probably ain't it I don't think uh, so uh, you sell lizards by gecko? Finest gecko, it climbs walls. Can reach hard to reach places. Uh, how much does one cost? 33. <laughs> uh, 33 what? 33. Good age for a lizard. Gecko now or gecko later? Six. I'm going to buy a gecko. I will not carry it, mistress. I'll carry the gecko. Respectfully, mistress, you did not come here for a gecko. And I am not having a gecko clambering around inside my lower drawers. Gecko? Gecko now, please. Good choice. Let's see what you brought. I prefer ancient and mysterious things. Oh, interesting. Okay. Offer a... Ooh. A copper figurine of a grasping god or an ornamental shard of wood from a bowsprit or... 
telescope, or a broken effigy of an armless god. Or a curious golden sextant, or a solid metal box, or a scrap of sailcloth, or a dented compass, or the highly ornate chart of the nebula. Yeah, see, yeah, that's what I mean. The, the voice just it, it just doesn't like look like it should belong to her, right? And apparently, yes, the gecko is 33 years old. It is an old gecko. I don't know how long geckos typically live, but, like, I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, what do I offer? I don't, I don't know whether I'm like... Am I ever likely to need any of these things? I don't know. I'm just hoarding artifacts for the sake of being archaeological. I feel like a broken effigy is reasonably worthless to me. Would you take this? I've seen worse, I suppose. But I'll need more to cover it. Oh. Do you know how old the broken effigy is? So it is weak. Fragile. Uh, fine. Um... Copper figurine? I, I can't remember what any of these things are about. Copper figurine? This as well? Well, it's not in the best condition. You have a deal. What do you think, Six? Looks like a rat. It looks like a rat. We'll have to choose a name. Why not call it Seven Mistress? <laughs> I'll need that. I'll need that name soon enough, I'm sure. How about <gasps> we can name it? We can name the gecko. I've actually just bought a gecko. I don't know why, but I've bought a gecko. Uh, Renbert Mayari, <laughs> Paddles, Flipper, Snubnose, Flatbed. How about Mistress? I think your gecko has escaped. What? Very possible. Gecko's very quick. Where did it go? Cracking stone. You want more gecko? This time you hold it tight by the neck. I want that gecko back. Gecko very hard to catch. My job catching gecko is very hard. Oh, my gecko! I'll buy a stripey one. Let's see what you're offering. Maybe I should have, like, named it faster. Uh, off the holographic robot neck. That's the only thing I've got this. Okay. No. Silver telescope is probably good. I don't I don't want to leave here without a gecko. Now that I know that I can buy a gecko, I need to leave with a gecko. But also I can't just keep throwing away all my artifacts to get geckos. I mean, I probably can, but I mean, what do I need them for other than to The only thing I really need them for is to like triangulate new areas to dig for. I don't really need them for that. I can just sort of go searching. Silver telescope? I feel like that's important. I'm not giving you anything gold. Uh, ornamental shard of wood. Maybe this? Well, it's not the best piece, but it's not enough. Oh. oh your price is too high. A pity. Maybe I'll come back later. I smell fried meat, spiced apple, fresh leather, wealth. Lizard seller must be a low-status job. 
I cannot imagine why. Change my mind. I want to give you. I want to give you things for a lizard. Ah. Oh. Suppose you think the gecko might know the whereabouts of a lost palace. He might be descended from a great king gecko of yesteryear. We'll never know, will we? Because you lost it. Oh, can I like save scum? I want to do that whole thing again. I want to. I want to leave the leave this planet with a gecko now. I'm very disappointed. I did not lose it, mistress. The creature quite adeptly lost itself. Baskets. Woven from grass. One basket looks the same as another to me, mistress. A cook? Hungry six? Hilarious. Half of these stalls don't have merchants. Aren't they worried about thieves? Perhaps these people are rich enough to be honest. Or perhaps the punishment for stealing is extreme. Ooh, books. Books. What may an Elberth can read? Do people here read? Of course we read. What did you say, Elberth? Uh, you're a Renarchian, I suppose. Of course I am. I'm no sailor, obviously. Yes? My name's Aaliyah. Can I help you? I was reading. Uh, I'm sorry to trouble you. I'll let you read. You're new here, aren't you? To Renaki. You must have sailed here. You've never been on the rivers? Of course I haven't. My soul is pure. What do you mean by that? Only what everyone knows. The rivers damage the souls that sail them. Some people say that reading is sinful. I read and sail. How appalling. I'm sorry, but most people... Most people wouldn't just say it like that. Doesn't your husband complain? How can you see the nebula if you don't sail? Do you really think like that? You don't find you lose anything out there? I lose my way sometimes. Not my soul, if that's what you mean. The priests of the loop are very clear about it. The rivers strip your soul. It's what they're made of, after all. The rivers are air and water. They're no more harmful than a hose pipe. Why they flow, I don't know, but I've never seen any souls lost out there. Of course. Excuse me. I don't get much time. My father will help me back at the account soon enough. A fat man with a scar flashed a cheeky smile at me as he walked away. Did he? Who? Who talk? Is he a thing I can engage with? Shoes. Where's the shopkeeper? I could steal a pair and run off in them. Perhaps they are so badly made they would trip you up. Bread. It smells good. It must be fresh. I can't imagine it. I cannot imagine how it smells. It's made from mouldering flowers, is that correct? Uh, I don't think so, no. Hello again. Have you got any books? I feel like there must be something to translate. We're dealing with books. <laughs> I bought a gecko, but it ran away. <laughs> I bought a gecko, but it ran away. Why did you buy a gecko? Why does anyone buy a gecko? They catch flies? The air, the air here is very damp. Things rot quickly. 
How'd you stop them running away? I think your gecko didn't like you very much. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh. Uh, what's your book? So? There's nothing wrong with that. I think we missed a line. I like books. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? I love books too. Do you? I barely have any. You're surrounded by books, aren't you? Well, I suppose so. They're all the same book. I'm looking for dealers in old artifacts. I'm told this is a market moon. It is as you see it. But I've never heard of anything like an artifact. Everyone here trades, trades what people need. But everything is new. Nothing is old. Well, there's always Amadou, of course. He, de he deals in servos. That's his marquee above the lizard cellar. We've already got one. Uh, this one's on loan. You must have fine friends, then. Look, I work on Iox. There are libraries there. Iox? I've always wanted to visit a real library. Uh, perhaps we could come to some kind of arrangement? Oh, no. No, I don't think so. Besides, my father would never allow it. Is this your book stall? I look after it for my aunt. They're mostly the same book. The princes have a print of one book and they roll it out. Same as the bread makers do. Can I buy a book? You have to ask my aunt. I'm not sure what she's got, where she's got to. Good faith to you, lady. I must get back to my work. Well, we've learned nothing about lizards. I'm disappointed. I like her. Mistress? The size of this place was nothing compared to Elbereth. But it was more packed with life. More colour. More people. More business. More hope. Yo, look. We need to deal. <laughs> this is important. Lizard me. Look, you... Gecko! Find Gecko! You don't understand how disappointed I am that I don't have a Gecko. <laughs> I should have just picked a name. I just want you... I want... Basically, I wanted to go through all the names till I knew what all the options were and then pick one. Not just, like, pick one off a list and go like, that'll do. Keep your eyes open. My eyes do not close, mistress. They do not exist. Well, if you see a gecko, you let me know. I wonder if I can catch my gecko. Can you imagine a fountain like this on Elbereth? Just spilling water into the street? This place is so wealthy. Throwing water about like it's nothing. Where does the water come from? Is there a wellspring right here? No, mistress. I believe the water is pumped up and cycled. That's a show of wealth, then. Gecko me! Morocco doesn't want Gecko. Morocco needs Gecko. Uh, this looks interesting. Who are you? Your Amadou? What do you want? Uh, I was told you could help me. You want a servo? Are you buying? You've got one already. Uh, these old robots are servos? The very finest. Why don't you tell me why you're here? Now I'm looking for some information. The observatory then. You're after the observatory. And what makes you say that? The last fool of a sailor I came across. And he was a fool. 
I mentioned the observatory and his ears pricked up like a kitten's. It was like he'd sat on a pin. Uh, who was that? I have no idea. Some ratty little man dressed like a king. He all but lost his teeth at the mention of an observatory. The observatory is just a ruin. Is that so? Are you sure? I'm a scholar. I read things. So you're here from curiosity? No other reason? Uh, I didn't say that. So there is something of value to be found there. Good. Now we're making progress. Alright then, what do you want? That is a fine looking robot you have. <laughs> I'd happily trade the robot, but it isn't mine to trade. I don't see anyone else around. Mistress, please. I am not yours to sell. Be quiet, Six. I'm talking to a human. <laughs> uh, I want to know what you have before I agree to anything. How old is the observatory? What state is it in? Let me tell you about the observatory. I've walked its, cor walked its corridors, seen ancient machines. It is built on three levels. Each is circular, each wider than the one above. So it looks like it must topple from the sky, and yet it stands. It... But perhaps that is enough for you? Ooh, enough to even start locating and start um, searching for it. Oh, we're already going to the Withering Ways anyway. That's not enough. I disagree, fine lady. Now we discuss a price. Well, you can't have my robot. Well then, mistress. It speaks. Wonderful. A pity you do not really want to find the observatory. Are you going to cut away Six's head? Certainly not. My servos are in prime condition. That they do not have their heads is their decision. Yours is a masterpiece. Yeah, I don't like your terms. I could tell you about the corridors of glass, the machines like gigantic servos buried deep beneath the crust. Are you sure you won't trade? Yeah, no, I won't trade. So be it. And so the observatory is lost once more. Just tell me. I'm a businessman. You'll find the door is over there. Such a pity. But if you ever find a servo, think of poor Amadou, his business drying up by the day. Mistress, what just happened? Shh. Just leave it. I should have enough information to find it. Dun dun dun. Have I? It hasn't like actually added anything onto the map, it's just kind of, I still already had these. Right, uh, Gecko. Why won't you sell me a Gecko? You there, sell me a Gecko. Forgive me, but do you live on Renaki? I do? I'm from Iox, and I'm looking for old ruins. We build things properly on Renaki. Things ruined, we repair them. Good faith to you? Fine. <gasps> Berries. With a gecko in them. No, okay. Another fruits. Amazing all these fruit sellers don't end up fighting each other. Quite possibly they do. I reckon... I can find that gecko. <laughs> I bet it's hidden somewhere. I bet you can chase it down. I bet you can actually get the gecko. I feel like you should be able to. Uh, 
I'm disappointing that it doesn't let you come back to negotiate a second time, though. Just, I mean, shout if you see a gecko. <gasps> Could be one of the jars. Vases. I could keep my paintbrushes in them if I painted. Or flowers. What do people here use them for? Water. They have a lot of it. Pottery. They can't sell all of these, surely. Unless they break them after every meal. Look. I will trade you a gecko for a robot. Not just the observatory. If you can give me a gecko, I'll give you the robot. Uh, it won't even let me talk to her to get another one, though. That's the problem. I was like, I, I, I straight up would, like, hand over some of my garbage. Because, I mean, ultimately, you don't... Re the game is so open-ended that you really don't actually genuinely, like, need anything. This is a busy district. Heavily populated. Most of Renaki's population is urban, Mistress. The open, space, open spaces are reserved for cultivation. Maybe we could ship some people from Elbereth to here. I'm sure they could carry a few more people. Other than Master Yazi and his friend? They hardly seem the most deserving cases. Maybe if we go back through, I can buy a lizard. I was hoping there's a, some, some case where you can go away and come back and it'll reset and let you do it again. A gecko- look! The gecko never gave me any sass, frankly. The gecko for a robot is definitely a fair trade. The gecko eats flies and doesn't sass me. So, I mean, frankly, it's definitely an upgrade over six. I'm with this plums. I'd like an apple. Of course. I prefer jewelry and gold. You want to trade jewelry for fruit? Jewelry is very good for trading, good lady. So is fruit. I will very much pass on the fruit. As you wish. I really must get myself another customer. Maybe you didn't, if you weren't demanding gold for an apple, you would possibly have more customers. I can't help but wonder if the apple's like super useful though. <laughs> it's like way more useful to you than the, like the golden compass or whatever. Well, we have enough new information to locate an undiscovered site. That calls for more wine, frankly. It's Saturday, night, Saturday night, guys. Wine in translation is on the cards, I think. Cool. Uh, well, sadly, the gecko escaped. <laughs> yeah, a golden apple. Yeah, I could be making a golden apple. We should sail to Iox and tell Mayari what we've seen. And I'm sure she wants to see the crown. But you'll know it ain't happening. I was thinking about the boat that Remba found. Or found a fragment of, anyway. The Empire never used ships that large. It was too old, too long buried. We've never discovered ships like that before. This changes our history, Six. It must have been a whole age before the Empire, when ships like great whales crawled the rivers, carrying things from one moon to another. Trading, Mistress? Perhaps people lived on them. Can you imagine that? A boat which people live on? An age of sail. Before the Empire was founded. And before the Empire locked down the nebula.
Ooh, Age of Sail sites. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Oh. It's li that's literally redefined our timeline. When she said this changes our history, she ain't kidding. These just said ancient sites. It's, not, it's no longer classified as ancient. It's classified as Age of Sail. There it is. Dark Age, Holy Empire. Before the Holy Empire was the Age, age of Sail. Sort of a rough guess at the time span, I suppose, to be fair. Um, although, but I guess they know a rough age for the ship. So that kind of pegs that to at least sort of here-ish. And before that is now defined as ancient. Cool. Right. Uh, we could go... What, what's on Elbereth? What, what, what do I want to head to Elbereth for? <clears throat> My friend, the mechanicist Oroi, lives on the cell. She might be able to tell me something about the dull shadow crystal from the shipwreck. I could go there. Uh, yes, because that gets us back to where we kind of were, and then in the right vicinity to start searching this area of sky. Just because, just because, just as, just as an exercise in and of itself, I'm pretty interested. Oh yeah, Age of Sail is totally my jam. Yes, we should totally be looking for boats. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, just just as an exercise in its in and of itself i want to find a moon that's not even been hinted at in the story take the tiller for me because it's a long way thank you mistress i could show the dull crystal to oroi well, I mean, that's all we've got on Elbereth right now, so, yeah. She might, like, figure out the Age of Sail thing, I guess. Ah, oh, stop complaining, Six. I still don't know why the normal gate word stopped working. It's always worked before. Still not I have a way through, I suppose. Maybe the gate doesn't like me carrying this dagger. Offer the dagger to the gate. Do you want this? And The dagger's gone. Is that good? Do you think I'm going to get it back? Set boyo kirifa. Kibenya. Ayeni hua sale kataliti. Okay, so that still works. The dagger clearly didn't have any, like, thing to do with it. I don't know why the dagger would have anything to do with the door. That's so weird, though. Uh, I'll never get used to that. Yo, Slaver, how's it going? Will the trading people end one day, mistress? You have to believe it will. I cannot believe things, mistress. I can only compute probabilities. The error margins here seem so large. I've had enough of this place. Yeah, I mean, like, overarching, like, the actual narrative, um, it, it's just because it's so open-ended, the overarching narrative wants me to do that, because that's, like, the next, like, step, really. So you have to believe. The next step in proceedings is, you've got the crown, take it back to your boss. But, like, because it's so open-ended, you just don't have to at all. And I'm quite happy, like, not doing that. Dinner's ready. Oh, she never comes immediately. I heard a sound like someone dropping a bag of rice or falling out of bed. Aaliyah, what can I do for you? Now let's talk about the gates, the catkiss gates. How do you get all your tools and things through it? I had to give it my weapons. 
Yes, it does that. The best way for you to get well, get round it. No idea. I have a foil in my arm, so it doesn't bother me. I've heard of those. Good for you. Don't trouble your pretty head about it. You have a foil in your arm? It's not deep. I mean, it's only a small one. Nothing much, just enough for the gate to recognize you. Hey, I, w I want the thing. Oh, it took away my option to ask her if I could have one. Anyway, I found a strange shard of crystal. I thought you might be able to tell me what it is. I'm a technic, not a mystic healer, so I don't know. Rest it on your belly and see if it helps you break wind. I think it's a little more than that. Oh, yes? You got my interest, I'll take a look. I'll do it tonight, maybe. Oh, that's all we get. Thank you, Aroi. How's business? Not getting any better. Have fun on the rivers, Aaliyah Lasara. Oh. Well, that was uh, uneventful. Mildly concerned about the loss of the dagger, because the dagger has actually proved useful as a tool on, like, two occasions now. There have been, like, two things where I've actually needed the dagger to cut something, and it's been really useful having that. So, uh, I don't know how I'm going to deal with things like, oh no, I'm trapped in a tent. Uh, yeah, we're done. Let's go. Let's go, Robit. And so we left the surface of Elbereth. We should sail to Iox and tell Mayuri what we've seen. We won't, but we should. I'm sure she wants to see the crown. Not happening, game. I defy you. Man, I've lost so much stuff now. Time to move on. Already the sheets, mistress. Right, so. We should go... To, that's going to be interesting to try and find. Uh, I would like to go to what are what are they all? The Age of Cell site is okay. Ancient recording hidden inside the goddess figure is spoken in a place called the Withering Palace. Six believes the metal hoop from the graveyard was from here. And we found stories. What the site might have been, I have no idea. We could search and find artifacts. Remember, as we recovered more shards of shards of violet. Um, okay. That was the crystal, wasn't it? And this one is from the compass, I guess? A lost city? Ooh. Alright, let's go for the lost city. I don't know enough to find this site yet. Oh. We know enough to find that site, but I mean, in spite of that, I'm not actually going to go there. I just need to like pick somewhere, otherwise it won't actually let me sail anywhere. What I need to do is, oh my god, I need to hang a left. Oh, bring me through there. Just, just keep left until we get to this junction and then hang a right. Cool. All right. I mean, I, if, if, if I can make showing her the crown literally the last thing I do in the game, I'll be quite happy with that, actually. Either of us continues to our destination, mistress. So, okay. That one, cool. Then that comes around here. And then at the next fork, left. Then left. Left, left, right. What if the rivers aren't natural at all? What 
What if they weren't created by storms or magnetic fields or anything like that? What else could they be? Oh no, I turned the wrong way. Or have I? Then this next le um, wait, 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 wait. There's a right turning coming like right up. Like here? This should have been here. No, we think I've no we we're going around in a loop now. Great. Okay. What if they were drawn by a painter with a brush? How would such a thing be done? Alright, so we're here again. I don't know where that turnoff was, I didn't see it. So keep straight. I guess this is not quite as, uh, uh, just not as big as I feel like it is on the map. So I mean this junction up ahead is this junction here. Then there's another split like immediately after it. Somehow, somewhere. I don't see it, honestly. After this... Nope. Where is this? There is no right turning here. It's just genuinely not even actually here available on the map, is it? Should be like here. There's nothing actually here. What? I'm not sure. Was one and a half thousand, one and a half thousand years old, maybe? Fine, okay, I guess the open wandering thing isn't happening. That's weird. I wanted it to happen. You can sail me across to there. Thank you, mistress. I thought you could just, like, find things just for funsies. We reached uncharted waters, mistress. Hmm. Hmm? I barely moved. There is this bit here, which is... <gasps> That's got to be a thing. That wouldn't be like this whole uncharted thing if there wasn't a thing in there. I'm going to go in here. <laughs> I think. Straight on here, mistress. These weren't uncharted. Nightingale herself must be an age of sail ship. So, hang a left at this fork and then see if there's a turning off to the left after that. She's about the right age, I think. Yeah, both good. And she's still river worthy after all this time. Yeah, there's a turning. This one gets us into uncharted territories. So, if we hang a left here, I reckon we'll find something interesting. Oh, missed another turning. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just Nebula.
Mardu made some strange claims about this place we're headed to. Fine. Can you take over now? He said he saw corridors filled with ancient machines. Curious. Yes, get out of here. You take over. This bit was not as exciting as I hoped it would be. Thank you, mistress. Now where are we? Oh, now we actually are where we need to be. Cool, 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 cool. The way from here is through unknown waters, mistress. Curious how? He does not strike me as the adventurous type. Oh, this is picking up on our old conversation, is it? I doubt he has ever left Renarchy. Okay, so if we want to head north, need to hang a right here, I guess. Still directing us that way, so yeah. We'll need to turn left next, mistress. Do we? Yeah, I guess we do. Mm, you're probably right. Still, though, there must be something out here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's dig up some locations. Something right there that I can't get to. Uh, okay, so that one we would have to go around to get to. I could just keep, yeah, just keep hanging left until we go around to that one. This is just the Age of Cell site is somewhere here. Can you see it? How do we find it? Same way we always find it. Archaeology and guesswork. <laughs> I suggest we look. We tried looking. There's an area of weaker flow, mistress. I feel like we're sailing through a cloud. It's a thing! Check the thing! In effect, mistress, we are. Particles we can see are ice particles. Suspended in what is left of the river here. A ruin! I feel like that was more important than talking about clouds, but sure. I guess it sailed the dates from the age of sail. I found a battered silver sextant. I wonder how long it's been out there. The casing has been decorated with characters in ancient script. <gasps> a thing! This is fractured. That is many stars. Heavens? Vault? No. Maybe. Maybe. No. <laughs> uh, tells? The heavens speak of... Something paths. I can have my translation for tells to the dictionary now. And paths must be right too. Nebula. Okay. I'll fine. I'll have I'll have nebula. The nebula tells of. It's path? Your path? Nebula tells of your path? Nebula tells of the pilgrim's paths? I 
I guess I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe pilgrims. You've got the symbol for people. You've got a symbol associated with the empire. And you've got the symbol for of in there. The people of the empires. The pilgrims. Coal doesn't really fit for me. It's a, it is a is potentially a reasonably vague word, so it's or yours might not fit badly there either as well, honestly. This symbol associated with the Empire is tenuous, I think. Because the Empire, we've got that symbol which I don't really know specifically what it means yet. Plus plants, plus a place, plus... I don't think we've really, like, defined that symbol. I don't, I don't, know, what the, I don't know what the arrow means. Lands, mountains, something like that, potentially. I think I'm okay with pilgrims as a choice there. Uh, did we confirm pilgrims? I don't think... No, the, the only time pilgrims came up was on the robe, and I don't think it got confirmed. I'll pop that in for now. Nebia tells the pilgrims' paths make sense. I should get Huang's opinion on that when we get back to the university. Okay, uh, let me go to my inscriptions. Unsolved inscriptions. Woo! Um, Elbert Gate, Water Goddess. Dagger, Hearth. Where did, where, did, where did we find that robe? Purple robe. See, that's pilgrims without the apostrophe. So. Uh, ooh, interesting. I now, knowing what I know now, I'm a bit more inclined to think potentially soldiers? We've got the symbol for a place and for a path. Or some sort of motion, anyway. A symbol for motion. Would the words be that different? Potentially not, no. You've got the, you've got the symbol for people in there in two separate occasions. I'm not sure what these little dashy hyphens, essentially, are really denoting in anything. Um... We've got people... We've got we've got sim we've got glyphs indicating people, motion, place, and what I would suggest is protection, because I think I think this has come up in things that would like potentially be protecting. To that end, soldiers maybe fits the thing a bit better than pilgrims. The tri yeah the triangle squiggle is definitely a place yeah no I'm on board with that I've been thinking that for a while. Um, most most things that have a triangle squiggle sort of is associated with a place of some sort. And the the S S shape kind of thing is basically just motion, right? Um, so soldiers, they they are people. They defend places and other people. I always think soldiers. I'm quite. I'm, I'm. I'm fairly tempted to put soldiers in there, actually. Uh, and I need to find some of these other sites now. The thing is, if each of these has got like potentially an artifact in them, I feel like you're missing out on artifacts if you, like, find the ruin too quickly. <laughs> I don't know how you could, like, go back and find other ones to dig up more stuff otherwise, though. Alright, hang a left, um, then kind of keep on that way. 
I think this comes from the exact place we're after. We must be near. This will make the exact spot we're currently hunting easier to locate. We're sailing normally once more. Have we got it exact yet? No. Uh, hang a right here, I reckon. There's a path in the water. Uh, so these merge, then we go left and keep on keeping on. The sparkles appear to be settled by our passing mistress. We are sweeping them away as we sail. There's a thing. Check the thing. A ruin. It's a ruin from the Age of Sail, Mistress. This should only take a few moments, Mistress. I recovered a nebula map covered in tiny calculations. Just floating out there? It would seem to be marked, Mistress. Hooray, a lot of things about stars. Oh my god, so many stars. This one's the end of a blurry fragment of text. Stars, and stars. Then, look then stars and stars. Something is not right there. Probably not the then. Uh, look. Look at stars and stars. Yay, cool, we know stars. At, yes! <laughs> I love when I can guess the words before it even brings them up. That's friggin' perfect that, like, I, I basically, I do actually know enough about this language to be able to make pre-educated guesses. Even before the game, like, whittles it down to a few words, I can actually get a few of these pegged. How am I finding it? I am loving this game. It is immensely satisfying to decipher this language. And the relationship between Aaliyah and the robot is just... Mwah, chef kiss. Uh... <laughs> I have to, I have to, it's not quite a 10 out of 10. I have to dock a point because my gecko ran away though. So, sorry. If I had a gecko, it would be 10 out of 10. You went through your third run. Um, I'm, oh, I would probably be on my third run if I wasn't being hindered by the fact that I'm streaming it and therefore can only play like three hours a day. <laughs> um, it is a weekend. I could go all night, I suppose, but... <laughs> Oh, the moment the more I could see by I see I had an option to buy the lizard, I was like, I've got to do this. But then if but then Okay, ad, lizard ad, lizard buying advice for you right here. Pick a name for it. I think it doesn't run away if you pick a name for it. If you go through all of the name options and run out of them just to see what there is, like I did, at the end of it, you don't go, Oh, I can't think of any more ideas, let me go back and think about it. It doesn't do that, your lizard just runs away. So if you don't choose a name for it first time, it runs away. I think you probably keep it if you pick a name for it. And then you either have to pay more money to buy another lizard. And if you don't buy it, you don't get a chance to buy another lizard as far as I can make out. So be careful with lizards is the moral of the story. Uh, what are we doing? Look at stars and stars. Dream? Look at stars and... Oh yeah, look at stars and... I was thinking that was stars in and of itself. It's not, is it? It's just stars as part of another word. Yeah, dream. Look at stars and dream. Cool. What else would be associated with stars? Earth, maybe? Probably not. Look at stars. We've got kind of protection sort of thing going on here. Oh, it's even associated with sleep. We've got a word that's associated with sleep. In fact, the word for dream and sleep would be almost identical except for these little... Um, commas. Yeah, it's got to be dream. 
I can still change my mind, but look at Stars and Dream. Right, where are we going? We still ain't found it yet. Ooh, it's... Wait. The area it could be in has very much been whittled down now, but it's removed the other sites for me to find? Interesting. There's a big blob here that I bet I need to get into. If I spiral around into that, I bet that's pretty useful. I think this originates from the site we're after. We must be getting close. Just make the site we're after easier to find. We're over to the left, we'll continue our search, mistress. Oh, okay, it does exist. Uh, ooh, interesting, then. Yeah, that, that one's almost certainly the one I'm going for, I think. To that end, I actually kind of want to visit the other one, see if I can pick up some more words, but I'm not quite sure how I'd get there. The rivers don't actually seem to lead me there. I would have to go up here into mystery space and hope it comes back around this way. Okay, let's uh, let's just go to the thing. Seems easiest. <clears throat> I mean, basically, what we've learned is I should basically just delete my game save and start again so I can get a lizard. What's the point of a game without a lizard, honestly? I hope he hasn't gone. I hope he, like, stowed away on six or something. Do not turn right, mistress. That turning will take us back to the rivers. And then it's just gonna, like, turn up on the ship or something. I'm sure I did see a lizard earlier. I don't, like, one of the very first ruins I had, there was a lizard, and I remarked, and I was like, hey, there's a lizard there, that's cool. Is that a carving or a real lizard? This is glowy and red. This seems ominous and important. I think we found it. There's not enough room to land the ship, mistress. I will ready the hopper. New Game Plus keeps the known words? That seems... almost cheaty and pointless. Like... Why, why would you go through... Like, literally the point of the game is translation. I suppose also, if you've already played the game, then you already know all the words. So... I uh, guess, like, from a just from a gameplay perspective, it doesn't make sense to translate it all again when you already know everything. Oh, you get more stuff? Oh. Oh, damn. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to play this game at least more than once. Does it just get, do the sentences just get longer and longer and longer and then just eventually you're just translating books? <laughs> ah, I found a book in this ruin. Let me translate the entire this thing. was nothing but cold, cruel rock. It could never have been home to anyone. And yet, someone had been here. And someone was still standing guard. Ooh. I found this book. Let me translate the cover. It says, War and Peace. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Whatever this place is, mistress, evidently it is clearly not a city. We'll make an archaeologist of you yet, Six. What gave you the clue? The lack of water in the rock. Um. Yeah, don't, don't please don't spoil things. I mean, I like uh, that's kind of cool that like there is more to it. If you, uh... oh, the dots are still there on the map. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So can you visit those sites again? That's... Can I... Can I... Ooh, okay. If I were to go over to, like, the Emperor's Secret Garden, are they still there? No. Okay. Remember the dig site? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, definitely please do not spoil things as far as what else there is to talk of in the game. Um, I know the demo I played at Rezzed, there was something that came up in it that has not come up at all in the game here. I guess, I mean, it was a weird, weird snapshot of the game that I guess was based on context from what I know now, much, much later on in the game. And most of the translation work that came up in the demo there, um, it was all really long sentences. And obviously the game, it was starting you late on in the game, but also starting you with like no prior knowledge of any of the language. So all the sentences popped up and Aaliyah's reaction to it was, well, I don't know any of those words. I'll come back to that one later. And you just didn't get to translate it. She just like was like, <laughs> no, <laughs> was literally her reaction to it. There was like over the door, there was like, ah, this is two words. I can translate this. And then you got inside the ruins and it was like, ah, this is a book. No, no, I can't really do that. Never mind. Uh, let me just put that away for a minute and we'll come back to that one on another day. But, I mean, obviously obviously they're trying to show off some cool stuff from the game, so they were showing some later ruins. But, like, trying to show, show off the translation mechanics in that context is also weird. Just a very strange, like, slice of game to be showing off. But, like, at this point, there's been nothing in this game that, uh, that she's, like, completely balked at doing. She's never been like, whoa, no, I can't translate that. And she's like, okay, let's have a crack at everything. Some of them that are like really long, I've been like, whoa, that looks something, but you've always had a go at everything. How old would you say the site was, Six? Based on the weathering of the god statue, almost one and a half thousand years old. Path is leveling off. Camel's teeth! The path ended at the edge of an enormous. It's Goldeneye! <laughs> Where a mountain had been plucked out like a rotten tooth. And something had been built across the wound. That is literally like the Arecibo telescope. <laughs> Jesus. What are we looking at? I have no idea, mistress. Can you scan it, Six? Scan it? Scan for what, mistress? It is a hole. It is clearly not just a hole. Scan it for everything. Here is something, mistress, which may or may not be interesting. The tiles lining its surface are a metallic pottery composite. A what composite? Metallic pottery. Heat resistant, reflective, conductive. Where did it even get enough metal for this crater? Don't people sift streams for iron dust? There are richer seams on some older moons, I believe, mistress. But there does appear to be a considerable wealth of metal here. This has got a very... Very... Planet of the Apes vibe right now. <laughs> Those maniacs, they blew it up! It was the Arecibo Telescope, and actually this game is set many, many thousands of years in the future of our planet. When it's been, I don't know, shattered across a nebula or something. And this is just a fragment of the Earth. And this is where James Bond beat Alec Trevelyan at the end of Goldeneye. <laughs> Are you doing a scan now? Like I told you to? Indeed, mistress. I have found something. Gravity, mistress. You just discovered gravity. I should have dropped you out of an airlock like I did five. I beg your pardon, mistress. Just tell me what you found. I've discovered that the gravity within the crater is lower than the gravity outside it. Are you saying you can see gravity? Indeed, mistress. After a fashion? I wonder why you can see gravity. Someone must have made you that way. Perhaps. Although my eyes can see most flows of momentum, mistress. Useful when flying, I suppose. Seeing gravity. Useful, certainly. But the gravity of the nebula is also quite beautiful. 
Let's have a look at this god person thing. They probably have something scribbled on them. The guardian of this place, although it's very weathered, so maybe not. I see this one before, but I still don't know who you are. People left offerings at the feet of the god. One got stuck in the crack between the stones. A battered copper telescope. I think it dates from the age of sail. It's quite a thing to offer to a god. Some kind of sailor god, are you? Something inscribed on the casing. GoldenEye is very much one of the best Bond films. Um, is it the best? Oof. Uh, yeah, I think it probably is. <laughs> I think it probably is. Yeah, there are a lot, there are some good ones. Definitely. Um, anything post Brosnan so far has been pretty garbage. Um, GoldenEye. GoldenEye is probably the first Bond, Bond film I ever watched. Off the back of playing the game, I played. I played the game before I play. Before I watched any Bond movies, um, but then off the back of that, obviously, Goldeneye was the first Bond film I watched, and it is stonkingly good as a film. Um, but I, I for, for a while in my for a while in my teens, I got really, really into James Bond films, like way too into James Bond films. Yeah, everyone's got their different opinions. I mean, my dad really likes all the Roger Moore stuff, but my mum really likes uh, Sean Connery. Uh, I, for what it's worth, think... Uh, what's his name? Oh, arse, I can't even remember his name now. Uh, the guy who was in Honor Majesty's Secret Service. Um, George Lazenby, that's the man. George, George Lazenby. Uh, yeah, George Lazenby is actually pretty respectable, but nobody ever remembers him, as ju as evidenced by the fact that I quite like him, but don't couldn't even remember his name there, so. Uh, he did one movie and was like, oh, well, I don't want to get typecast as James Bond, I won't do any more, and then he quit, and nobody has ever remembered him since. He never got work again, which is, like, <sighs> equally hilarious and tragic. Like you six minutes mistress, the same six minutes you gave me. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, the unbroken sentences. Yeah, that's probably a thing. What have we got on the telescope? Let's have a look at this telescope. Something about moving. Uh, winds. Something to do with the time and a question mark. Something winds move into... Move must be right. When? Time and question. When? That sounds... Yeah, that's a when fits my sort of understanding of the glyphs. When winds move into... Uh, light and this, gen this has generally been associated with like everything you got all and forever in there when winds move into What this word? Took you all. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm. Life or line? When winds move into life, it's kind of a, it sounds like it's like a, di a, a literal translation, but kind of could mean something. When m winds move into line, when when the winds align, kind of makes sense. When winds move into harvest or long, don't really even fit. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Yes, the harvest would almost certainly have the weed glyph. Yes, that's true. Um, our understanding of plants. There should be some plants involved. Um, it's, that, it's those symbols for light that are kind of throwing me here a bit. All light. Does that make it a, does that make it a line? 
or long? Long doesn't really make sense. Or when winds move into long. I feel like line just fits. It's it's like oh, it's when the stars align, when the planets align, that kind of sort of vibe of thing. It's not literally the same thing, but it's that same sort of expression, right? When the winds are in in this particular sort of world, it's when the winds align, right? I think that's right. When winds move into line, that'll do for now. This comes from the same side as Broken Effigy, the one discovered in the Emperor's Garden. Having this should be useful in tracking down where things originated. Shall help us work out where to look for it. Has our map narrowed down? Nope, not really. How can the gravity be low? Go back to this particular issue. Is the dish some kind of machine? Some kind of, I don't know, lens? This dish is just as it appears to be, mistress. A curved tiled floor. Perhaps the moon's density itself is low. Don't tell me it's hollow. I will do a scan. I could, like, look at the middle of it up here. It seems to have disappeared that option now. I wanted to look at the middle. Mistress, the results of my scan are most surprising. Go on. The moon is partially hollowed. There is a chamber below ground. It would seem the region of diminished gravity is centered here. The results must be wrong. The rocks must be magnetic or something. Yeah, they're throwing you off. Perhaps, mistress. I admit I am doubting what I see. You're saying the gravity effect is artificial. Mistress. How can gravity be localized? Is that possible? It would appear so. There's a structure over there. With a mast. For a flag? I suspect it is functional, mistress. Intended, perhaps, for some kind of beacon. There must be some way to reach it. I believe the rock promontory ahead is blocking the path, mistress. Either the structure below is built around it, or else the surface has subsided somewhat over the years. The subsidence would suggest water in the soil, wouldn't it? It would. Which I find implausible. Can you locate the source of the gravity? Indeed, the force lines are quite visible. The effect is strongest in the center. There's something in the center. That's what I was looking for. A cover? It looks like it has handles. A covered well? And the skeleton of Alec Trevelyan. <laughs> Who fell from there an age ago in a battle with his colleague and rival. What was this place? Some kind of transmitter? Radiation waves do, no do not need to escape gravity, mistress. This looks like a way down. Could be life because loop. Oh, yeah, maybe. Catch me if I fall six. What an idiotic That's remark. Halfway down. It was wide enough for walking. Wide enough for robots, too. There's no way I'd keep my balance on the slope if I tried to cl climb down. And there's some big holes to go sliding into. As we can find a section that hasn't shattered. Uh, yeah, that looks like, I mean, that seems like a one-way thing. The gravity effect is technological, mistress. And this place is a most important find. You're right. Depending on how low the gravity can go, 
column of low gravity could allow ships to launch without an upriver. Perhaps this crater was a landing bay. Whoa! 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 <laughs> I couldn't see that before! <laughs> I was writing around the rim. And that music, just just that moment, just that I saw that, just sounded a little bit X-Files. <laughs> the crater dish clashes with the rest of the vibe of the game. Yeah, a bit. I mean... Clearly, like, there's a lot going on about these ancients that we didn't know. Like, they had bigger ships than we could ever envision, and then they've got this technology going on. There's, like, entire, like, modern civilizations have risen and fallen before, like, the current age of this game. Welcome! E.T. found home. Land... Ho, land ho, land, be, I don't think myself is right. I feel like you should have told me one of these words is wrong by now. There's nothing else that fits in there, right? I mean, there's and, land, myself, and... Oh, there it is! That was not obvious that that was there. This doesn't feel right. Myself was wrong. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I figured. Land, and be welcome. Maybe it is a landing pad then, huh? Land is good. Cool. This one has a lot of symbols, but I think it must say welcome. Land. Place, people, me. It is the place of me. It is here. Land here and be welcome. Land here? Is this a landing pad? If I, if I go down there, it does feel like I won't be able to get out, so I kind of want to check this out before I decide, like, to just go the slippy sliding down into it. The place was mind-boggling. It must have been built by giants for giants. Bless the moons. The air is so thin here. Take your time to recover, mistress. Evidently, it is clear this place was intended for robot workers. There's definitely something inside here. Equipment? It's hard to make out. Amadu claimed he saw corridors full of machines. Did he find a way inside that we haven't? There's every possibility he was simply lying, mistress. This looks like a door. Only it won't open. Oh, I have the poker still. There isn't even enough gap to get the poker through. As if I still have that. I didn't realize I had that. Why, why, why did I decide just to bring that to a moon with me? Oh, we're landing. Better bring the poker. <laughs> just in case. Can you batter it down, Six? No, mistress. I could use the button, however. The locking mechanism is internal and magnetic. Oh, yeah. You should probably do that. <laughs> Saw that coming a mile off, to be fair. <laughs> there. I could see him just stood by the button. Cramped <laughs> space. Stuffed with... Metal and pipes and wires. It was like I turned into an ant and was now crawling around inside the robot. It's 
place was clearly abandoned. No disaster, no destruction. Whatever it once was, it became obsolete. Someone oversaw this site from here. A regulator? Kind of been a good job. It's uncomfortable, cramped. But robots do not care. Some kind of control panel for midgets or children. Based on its position, just under the window. This must control something out there. But I can't see how to use it. Six, can you operate this? That one controls the temperature of the floor, mistress. And this one, however, appears more interesting. Why was there underfloor heating in a control room? That's hilarious. Um, can you work it out? I already have. There. I have activated the panel. But I see no change. Maybe the power's gone. These doors seem stuck. I get my fingers in, but they won't budge. Power to that section appears to have failed. Can you divert more power that way? I'm not some kind of plumber, mistress. Maybe there's some power upstairs. Let's see what's up here. What was that noise? I believe it was the lower door resealing itself, mistress. You can open it again, can't you? I should think so, mistress. Look at it. It's beautiful. Can you imagine ships coming to rest here? Like flies on a flower. Some kind of tripod. There was something here once. An instrument of some kind. It's wrong shape for a winch. Angle to look at the center of the crater? Or else tilt it up to the sky? Possible to say for sure. Ramps. Rubber owned operating controls. The site wasn't managed by humans at all. This one's not empty. Oh, we can just walk up this way. Telescope. The ladies in grey and Elbreth had a telescope on the roof. It encourages us to look at Iox through it and dream. Is this place an observatory? Let's see now. Oh. There's no eyepiece. What's the use of that? This looks like it comes free. Found an edge motif on it. Precision required for this. And this is the start of a fragment of text. Okay. Uh, right, me. Hopes. That feels wrong already. I done something wrong. Oh, hopes was wrong. Okay. That's still me. Yeah, there's a bit of a gap there, isn't there? Uh, rests? Wait, how does rests and hopes dis differ? Oh, it's just the commas at the start of it. Right, rests. Still wrong. Mistress, that translation is clearly incorrect. There must be another phrasing. Oh, it's me that me was wrong. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I made multiple mistakes. Cool. Rests. Here. Oh, yes, we got here earlier, didn't we? So now we've used here a couple times. So here is correct. Good, 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 good. Uh, right. Wine. It must be wine. No. <laughs> uh. Friend, live, loyalty. People rest here. On a telescope? Heart? A 
feel like people maybe fits that reasonably well. Because a friend, you've got essentially the same character, but a the character for a person, person people, is a a person of the people is a friend. I don't know. Um, it could be heart. My heart rests here, kind of thing. Uh, in which case, that's a person with a heart is a friend, right? And then the heart's got the symbol for the life in it. So the heart gives life. Makes sense. I'm not even going to touch the loyalty. That's just... <laughs> loyalty, you've got... Well, actually, you've got, you've got that... You've got the same sort of heart symbol in there. Heart. Everything. You've got... I don't quite know how that ties together yet. But you've kind of got that sort of... Vibe, right? Uh, I think maybe heart. Let me go with that. Heart rests here, work. What do you make of the telescope six? You think people, okay. Uh, indeed, most interesting. Uh, so what is it? There's a recording device, mistress. There's a robesque foil at its apex. Ooh. Can you read it back? No, mistress. I have a foil inside me, but there is no common language. But I can guess. Let's hear it. If this device is a telescope, House has been recording the movements of the sky. Hmm. This is definitely not a flagpole. There are no ropes and no fittings for any fittings for any ropes. Evidently it's a signal mast, a beacon. For sending something somewhere. Ajax has a similar one for sending messages. Ooh, is something painted around there? Where's the mast send two six? Mm, just wait, mistress. Yes, I believe I can deduce that, but it's hardly accurate enough to pinpoint a target. A thing on a wall! This one is a phrase run together. Oh, this was a thing by the window you were directing me to, right. Uh, sees... Is... Is with... No, that's probably not in... Go on, let's rule these out. Tell me what's wrong. This doesn't feel right. Wasn't that. Sees in is. Mistress, that's incorrect. There must be another possibility. Oh, sees that was wrong. Interesting, okay. In is in. Okay. I can add my translation to in to my dictionary now. Okay, cool. Hmm. Truth is in... Sight? That makes sense on a server tree, actually, yeah. None of those others particularly fit the bill. No. Don't think those necessarily, like, hugely tie into those symbols. You've got, you got the wiggly lines of the river. Does that, does that connect to truth? I don't know if it does. Those are also used in, like, wind, sort of into... It sort of indicate like flowing, I suppose. Does truth flow? Wine flows. In vino veritas, in truth there, in wine there is truth. But this one, if I could put wine there, that would totally fit. Truth is in wine. <laughs> uh, truth is in sight. 
I'm not really translating that so much as thinking it kind of just fits what's going on here more than anything else. What is this Renba's observatory? I was not aware Master Renba had an observatory mistress. In the ruin near my Ursi, I met a robot. The robot bore a message from Renba. It told me to find an observatory. Well, now we have. Of a sort, anyway. But I don't know what Renba was hoping to find here. Let's get this door open. Does this one work? I do not believe so, mistress. It seems a lot of the wiring here has been rendered purely decorative by time. Good thing the control downstairs still works, or we'd be stuck in here. It's got big open windows, you could definitely have climbed through that window. It does still work, doesn't it? Statistically, mistress, it will. So... We can never get this door open? I don't feel like that's true. I feel like we should be able to get it open. I hope this isn't Renba's observatory. If it is, then I'm definitely missing something. There's nothing here. You can squeeze through that. Just breathe in. Uh, so what was this place observing? The rivers. Nothing else seems plausible to me, mistress. <coughs> I feel like I've missed something here. Oh, there's something written here. Whoa, that is quite the sentence. I've got some of these words in my notebook, but I'll have to take a stab at what's left. Whoa, okay. Okay, something, something of something. We watch something. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, at least I've got of. <laughs> we will watch... I have the word for star. How could it be star? That's literally confirmed. You've got like, almost like the, you've got negative star, which would be dark, I guess. You got the, you got the squiggle, you got the X, and then the dashes of the starlight. I don't know what this symbol, this glyph specifically means at this stage. But sort of the sort of anti-star sort of implies dark to me, I think. Um, let's see. Let's have a look. Whoa, God! There's whole new glyphs in here. Jeez. Oh wait, no. Apparently, I've apparently I've used that to translate as powers at some point before. Uh, let's see. We've got people. Something to do with power. Divining rod. People. Command. Flow. People. Masters? Overseers? Potter seems like a very weird translation. Of ten tentatively put masters in there. Something something of masters we watch dark. This is a this is a toughie. A lot of similarities to at. So I think probably by at not at. <laughs> There's a similar he's kind of it's it's not the whole word for at though, is it? You've got you got apostrophe hyphen squiggle. That's just Apostrophe squiggle. X apostrophe squiggle and at not at. 
Uh, plus whatever that's, that glyph is, which kind of adds something to it that I haven't got completely pegged, honestly. This is quite, it's come up in a lot of things, but I've not really, like, connected the words. I think if it was if it was related to at, I suspect by more than anything else, or it could be via, as it said, it's by, com brackets like via, so via. Oof, <laughs> we've got a symbol for motion. We've got this, which was... What was that one? Protection? No. Wait, was it was that with the dash's protection, or was it something else? Oh, don't know. That, I don't know. By order of the masters, we will watch the... Yeah, our, our job is to watch the skies, right? This is literally what it is. Our job here as an observatory is to watch the skies. By order of the masters, we watch the darkness. No, nothing else particularly really works. Unless anybody's got some scintillating suggestions to the contrary, I think I'm happy to go with that. Uh, by order of masters, we watch dark. A master? Why would a place like this need a master? Perhaps it simply means operator. Come on, we gotta be able to get in here somehow. Fine, open the door, Six. Mistress. Ah. Ah. Open the door, Six. It would seem the power to this control is not entirely functional. Presumably the system has, been, has not been used or maintained in some time. Are you saying we're trapped in here? After a fashion, yes. So Hopper's out of here. I'm afraid the line of sight required is not available. Of course it isn't. We can head for the roof. An excellent idea, mistress. Please wait where you are. I will return momentarily. Let me guess, there's no way out that way. We're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go through that door. Hmm. Six. You abandoned me. Or he's just going to open the door from the outside. Fine. Both good. Mistress. Don't come inside. You're going to get trapped again. <laughs> Escape. I have fixed the lock, mistress. It will not close again. Oh, good. <laughs> That's all right, then. Okay. I'm less concerned about being stuck in here. Which means you can open this door now. You if you fix the last door, you can fix that door. This is an unforgiving place. Were there any other surfaces at all? None. This moon appears most rugged. Alright, let's go play slip and slide down into the dish. So what was this place? We know it was run by robots. Some kind of recording station. Observing the rivers. The crater itself is most likely a dock. A place for ships to land. The low gravity in the crater helped ships take off from here. We are having two ancient artifacts here, the Bat Telescope and the Telescope Device. The curators on IOX will be most content. May I activa activate the hopper now, mistress? I want to get down to the center of the crater first. I know you hate it because you love getting out of places very quickly, but like... We getting down here, let's be honest. This, this section of the slope looks intact. 
No gaps between here and the lower level. Just You could slide and then slide underneath that railing where there is a sizable hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well then, I'll float down. You coming? I will follow. On my treads. Here it goes. Whee! By a goddess! Well, made it. The robot was right. I felt as light as a feather. Like a child. How do we get in here? Six, it's warm. Mistress, please. Surely it can't be powered. It may draw power from the rivers. Given the curious gravity effect. There's perhaps once an upriver here? An upriver? For launching ships? Then this surface one is a dock? The gravity really is low. I feel like a child again. So this crater really had an upriver under this hatch. Six, that raises so many questions. Where's the river gone? Was it artificial? Can you make a river? Divert one? What is this thing? It's definitely not a well. It's clearly the focus of this whole place. What's it for? Let's see if I can... Dun dun dun! Evidently, it is most certainly a low gravity machine. The gravitational force is a weakness here. Our, our weakest here. You say that pretty calmly. Evidently, it is a fact. And I sense no threat attached. You are not about to float away. There's a symbol painted. Let's read the thing. It, yeah, it could just be a giant, like, galactic dam. <laughs> uh, river. Waters. Of? Of? I've done something wrong. Wait, which one was wrong? It didn't even tell me what was wrong. River waters. Of. Oh, it's towards, not off, right. Another long one, but long, another long one, but I think it must say river. Cool, 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 cool. Um, river flows oof, <laughs> oof, river flows towards. River flows towards arrive junction flow junction welcome I think yeah you know what junction potentially fits yeah I'm gonna go with junction on that one river flows towards junction of waters This is telling us where the upriver went. Some kind of junction point. Can you take a bearing? I can, mistress. I should know the bearing is not the same as that from the antenna mast. Ooh, somewhere in the 14 flows. That sounds like that narrows it down to 14 things. How far down do you think it goes, Six? I could not say, mistress. 
Can you shine a light down there? After a fashion, mistress. Ooh, shinies. It's lined with iolite crystals. Like the one Remba left on my Ursi. Also, I appear to be completely two-dimensional. <laughs> the same as the crystals on board the crashed ship Remba dug up. Indeed, mistress. Welp. alley -oop. Let's see where this goes. Do not move, mistress. If you attempt to annihilate yourself by entering a vertical drop, I will hopper you immediately. And if you are falling, I might only get half of you. I know what I'm doing. It is abundantly clear that you do not. Step away. I don't take orders from you. Let's be clear about this. You are a coat hanger on wheels. <laughs> I do what I I can do what I like. No, mistress, you cannot. Professor Mayari did not assign me to you for fun. Step away. He said the gravity effect was localized around that pit where the crystals are. Yes, mistress. Although before you conclude that the crystals bend gravitational force lines, mistress, I remind you that correlation and causation are themselves only correlated. So you think the crystals do bend gravity? They appear to do so, yes. I just want a closer look. We went to all the trouble to get this thing open. No, mistress. I will stay right beside you, and I will not change my mind on this matter. Please. Let us return to the upper ring level. Away from temptation. Maybe Oroi can help explain these crystals. The crystal is not mechanical, mistress, and I would advise caution. Caution? Why? It seems to me that a crystal capable of st storing a gravity-manipulating force is potentially a seismic discovery with complex ramifications. It may not be something you wish to give to Oroi. You mean gravity crystals are something I shouldn't give to Elbereth? You're worried about... what? That they'll use them to drive ships through the dead space? And approach Iox without coming in via the river gates? I have no concerns, mistress. I am a robot, after all. But I should think Professor Mayari might. I thought you said Iolite was worthless. Now you think it bends gravity? <clears throat> I do not think the crystal bends gravity. I believe it sort of stores some kind of force which does. It must have been collected and applied to the, to the crater where we saw it. So, you gonna let me jump down here or what? Because, I mean, that's what we're here for, right? If there wasn't up river here, then what was the hatch for? Why was it closed? Fascinating, mistress. Closing off a river. Why would, what would that even mean, Six? To close off a river? A river is water and force line. The force line would remain, but without the water it could not be sailed. Still, the water would have to go somewhere. <clears throat> Perhaps the crater was flooded. I don't think the river was controlled in order to harvest moss, mistress. But perhaps the water was used elsewhere. Another river, perhaps. Did our ancestors really have the power to control the shape of the Nebula Six? That's incredible. How does such a power get lost? Robots, mistress. This was clearly operated by robots. The process of controlling the rivers automated until the process was forgotten. Then the robots were removed, the process was lost. If there was no river here, does that mean there's water, water after all? Perhaps there's a wellspring directly below the opening, mistress. The water was directed into the river rather than saturating this moon. <clears throat> Let me go get a crystal! Dumb robot. Just let me have any fun. Fine, let's go then. There's nothing more here. Back to the ship, mistress. I can simply hop her as if you prefer. We've collected initial evidence of one new location of interest, an unknown ancient site.
do it. Uh, let's see what else we can learn here. Stand still, mistress. I think we got everything we could. So we left the surface of the greatest moon with leads for previously unknown sites. We should sell to Iox and tell Mayari what you've seen. <laughs> Been hearing that a lot lately. <laughs> I'm sure she wants to see the crown. Strange find, that crater. A natural deposit, perhaps? Perhaps, mistress, it is hard to say. Evidently, it is very old, mistress. Definitely the same crystal as inside the hatch in the metal crater. It must have been useful somehow for making the upriver. Mistress? Some people say I believe sailing is bad for the soul. I can't understand why. Well, just look at the telescope there. They believe the rivers are where souls go after death, after all. To visit them is to invite early death. Is that what the lights out there are? Souls? It hardly seems likely, mistress. From the roof of the cratered moon. I still don't really understand what this thing is for. Some kind of robot contraption for robots. How can you be sure? When humans die, mistress, do rivers come out of them? I guess, uh, let's start sailing. I'll prepare the braces, mistress. Rivers of blood. I mean, it depends how badly you get wounded and where. <laughs> yes. Okay, we can go to a bunch of towns for some reason. Ooh, there is this. Is, okay, I guess there's quite a bit of map over here. We've taken a bearing to somewhere here from the open moon. Six believes this is where the necklace of shells came from, and the other artifact I found this area, from this area is one of the oldest I've ever seen. But what this place was, I have no idea. I don't know enough to find this site yet. We could sail there. Let's do it. For some reason, there's something in Renarchy, apparently. I'm not sure what we're heading there for. Uh, highlighted for reasons unknown. Uh, or we might have some information about the telescope. Yep, that's true. I'm sure Mayari would like to see Iox. Age of Sail site. An eclectic series of ancient artifacts pointing to an Age of Sail location. Something from the same age as the buried ship of Rimbers, a lost city. I don't know enough to find it. Oh, really? It's narrowed down to a small area. Uh, yeah, Withering Palace is literally on my doorstep. Yeah, this is true. This is intriguing just because it's so big. I just really, I really want to go there. I just, I really wish the game would just let me just go wherever. I don't know why. I don't know why this little tributary thing, trickle or outflow, just wouldn't let me, like, go that way. Really annoying. Yeah, Withering Palace it is, fine. Ancient recording hidden inside the goddess figuring blah, blah, blah. Metal Hoop was from here. We've also heard stories about it. I don't know what it is, but we could try and find out. I could wait until I know something else. Well, it's either that or we go back to Mayari. So, you know, I think we should just do it. Are we sailing here? Am I, I guess there's a course set. In fact, it goes past an unexplored ruin. Ooh. Let's go past the unexplored ruin. I might get a thing. Sailing to the Withering Palace. I 
There appears to be a trail in the water. Which way am I going? Have I gone the right way? Yeah, I guess I have, I think. Feels good to be back on a real river again. Wait, what? I didn't... It didn't take the junction. Uh, backspace to reset. <laughs> I don't know, that, it literally wouldn't go up the... Up the turning. There we go! <laughs> it literally just went straight through the river. And didn't actually grab what I wanted it to. Get the ring, 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 hey. I thought I wasn't gonna get that then. I guess it dates from the Holy Empire, mistress. I will investigate, mistress. I found a brass goblet for festive occasions. I wonder how long it's been there. The base has been inscribed too. Da 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 da. There's a few words in this one. Uh, to die? Something's not... No, that's not that one, is it? That's not that. One of those words isn't right. It can't be die. That's wrong. Yourself. Because that, that's all one, all one word, I think. In... This. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I believe you're correct with this, mistress. Drown yourself in this. Place, wait, stand, cup. It is a goblet, after all. It is a thing of flow. It is a cup. Cool. Drown yourself in this cup. Yeah. So this was made on the exact place we're searching for. We're on the right track. I mean, are we searching for it? I feel like that was the thing. I don't think that was from the withering paths. I thought that was from the cratered moon. So the trail goes kind of cold over this way and brings us around that way. There is... Mm, there's that ruin there that I'm, I kind of would quite like to do. I have no idea how I could get there. Fine, let's just, uh, let's just follow the uh, GPS for, for a bit. Go left shortly, mistress. The ancients make the nebula, nebula using controlled up rivers? Could we change the change it for ourselves? I am unsure, mistress. Whoa, where are we going? The river doesn't exist here. Where <laughs> what what is this? You should go right, mistress. Oh, we're back on the course now. So, there's the implication that this is a whole thing going on here. The river's going into and out of just all of this. Yikes. Uh, cool. Back on course, I could hand over, but we're almost there now. I 
I'm trying to remember what the hologram I met in the graveyard told us about this place. She made it sound like somewhere she wanted to be. Had you waited for me, mistress, I might have been might now be able to advise you. This is true, actually. As it is, you have only have your own faulty memory to rely on. If I'd actually figured it out before he refused to go over the path. I actually could have done that scene with six with me. The sheer amount of dialogue options for different orders and occasions and things that might play out in this game is actually just mind-boggling. It really is. What was Rimmer doing on that set? On the, have we found a thing? What have we found? I guess we've interacted with that. So Blance presents itself, Mistress. Perhaps you found another telescope on the moon near my earth, see, Mistress. I think that's denied me that because they were so busy gabbing about other bollocks. <laughs> Perhaps he was simply collecting them and stumbled upon the Emperor's body. The Emperor's body was an important find for Remba to make. You needed that? You denied me my unexplored ruin! How do I get to that again? What? I needed that! I didn't need it, but... Oh! So busy gabbing, I couldn't actually get the ruin. If they're in a conversation... Uh... Oh, you're doing it with just... I mean, I want to explore, but the one time I've tried to explore, it didn't let me. So, I'm like, I'm not unsure as to how the exploration thing works. I, I, the devs have sort of hinted that you can do, like, tons of the game just by just poking at things. But, like, earlier I was sailing around this bit of space. I came down, like, here. And tried to turn off here to get into here, just to see... Clearly there was stuff going on, and now we know from this unknown ancient site that there totally is something something way out here yeah for sure um i just wanted to poke around and find ancient sites until i found something that actually was a, a location but this little trickle off just wasn't there when you sail around this course there's nothing there's just a straight straight river until then you just, it just brings you around again and you have to come back into this flow again your only way out is like here or here you actually can't seem to get off that way. And I was like, well, maybe the game's denying me access to that till I know it's there or something? I don't know. It's a weird one. So, as much as I love the idea of exploring, the game seemed to, like, deny me the ability to explore. Imagine if someone was claiming to be the Emperor's Loop. So Rimbuck left a train for my trail for Mayari to follow, starting with that brooch. Then he continued on his journey. Okay. Oh, so that one was actually connected to this. And I really probably could have used to get that. But there is an unexplored ruin pretty much dead ahead. And then he continued on his journey. My findings indicate the Withering Palace is nearby. There's a lump of rock up ahead. That might be it. Yeah, I can get the place you're at. Um... Oh, it hides places if they're plot heavy. Really? I mean, the the uh, obviously obviously there is some kind of structure to the game. I suppose that makes sense. But equally, it also seems to want to allow you to. I don't know. It's it's really hard. It wants to allow you to just like do whatever, but also. Yeah, I guess doesn't want you to be like, ah, we found Heaven's Vault on the first turn. <laughs> I, I guess, like, playing through it the second time, once you know where the game ends, you could literally just sail to the end of the game and just be like, yep, I know this rock, I've been here before, this is where we win the game, and just sail straight there and be like, aha, this holds all the secrets of the ancients and the ancients incredible treasures and yeah why do we need to go to the dig site and the secret garden and the cyclones 
and all that if I can just go straight to Heaven's Vault, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I get they, they must structure it in some degree. I guess that's potentially how they do it. I just the, I guess the one time I've desperately tried to just go off script and it blocked me just felt unfortunately a little bit limiting. This one looks like that river opens up slightly over there, which makes me think that might actually be what I'm looking for. A ruin! It's a ruin from the Ioxian I Empire, Mistress. Wait, Mistress, I recovered a splintered pendant of crystal. Just lying out there? Look there. It's small, but there's an eagle and a sun motif. It doesn't have an, in it doesn't have an inscription on the pendant. I think this originates from the place we're after. We must be nearly there. Oh, right, yeah, it's actually um, whittled it down. This will make the exact spot we're currently looking for easier to locate. We'll have to sail on to resume the search, Mistress. We are in the vicinity of the Withering Palace once more, Mistress. Where am I going? Oh, Jesus, it goes in a loopy loop. Okay. So we go around there, and then hang a right when it's when it eventually forks. Hard to believe this might once have been a busy waterway. Place filled with people coming and going. Oh, where am I going? Where, speaking of coming and going, where am I going? Doesn't matter, they both the walks come back together. Right, uh, so right is shorter, right, either, and then unexplored. Seems so empty now. People are highly transient, mistress. Yeah, forever moving around. Okay, I guess we'll go around that side of the rock. Sure game. Oh, didn't want to do that, but fine. So, which way do we go? I know which way to go. Yeah, look at this blob. This has got to be the way forward. I believe there is a very gentle force here. Just enough to sail. It may lead somewhere. It may not. Oh, looks like a withering palace to me. Is that it? Is that what we're looking for? I'll activate the hopper now, mistress. Uh, presumably, well, I mean, firstly, it's an entirely story-driven narrative game about translating a dead language. It hardly seems like the optimal thing for speedrunning. <laughs> But, uh, I guess you speedrun it by finding the absolute bare minimum amount of information and facts and things that you need in order to be able to advance the sequence. I'm just bumbling along, just grabbing as much information as I can. Just, I'm just like, give me, give me words, just feed me words, give me all the things I can possibly find. I guess if you want, if you really like, I want to do this in the minimum time possible, the strategy there would be to figure out what are the bare essentials what what's the what's the absolute minimum number of things that i need to do to get from a to b where a is clicking the start button and b is the end credits rolling you know you don't need to visit everything which bits are essential how little can i get away with is how you, is how you tackle as a speed run if speedrunning Heaven's Vault were to become a thing, I like, I, 
is that a thing that people would do? Yeah, maybe. They probably will, actually. People being people. Uh, this place the holographic head mentioned. How can there be a palace here? We hop it down into a narrow, rocky canyon. Waves of dust made it impossible to breathe. Already taken damage just from teleporting in. Mistress? Give me a moment. This was the worst one yet. You should not talk, Mistress. The dust will get into your throat. We'd best keep moving. How long can I last out here? Evidently, you have two minutes without shelter. After that, your lungs will begin to struggle. Let's hope there's a palace here with walls. Yes, mistress. But I told you not to talk. I'll talk when I like, robot. There's got to be something here. Some kind of structure. Somewhere. I really shouldn't be talking. Is it does talking actually make my health meter go down? I think it does a bit. A wind shadow. Can I shelter there? Yeah, I can. Cool, 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 cool. By the goddess. A wind shadow. This place six. This place is horrible. It is indeed horrible. You think it wasn't always like this? Hard to say, mistress. But all this dust must blow from somewhere. Perhaps something has dried up. Alright, onwards. Yeah, I probably shouldn't just like instinctively mash all of the conversation options. channel seems to get narrower, but there's no way to know if it leads anywhere at all. If there is no shelter, I fear you will not make it back. Hopper me out. You can hopper me out, can't you? Hopper will work through this dust. It should. It depends. Then we rounded a corner in the rock. And we saw it. Just like the one in the Emperor's secret garden. Although, this moon couldn't be more different. Yeah, I was getting a vibe about this place. Well done, mistress. Of course, I never doubted it would be here. I hope this place is worth it. Who knows? But it is certainly a find. The ruins will provide a wind shadow, mistress. You are safe. This. This. Is the level that was in the demo at Rez that I've played. I've been here before. <laughs> so I know what to expect. A little bit. The tripod we found on the building near the crater. I've seen one like it before. It's the same as the one on Janiki's moon. On the roof of the hermitage near Myersi. Was the rune near Myersi an observatory too? The locations are interesting, mistress. Separated but aligned. They suggest a triangulation. We know Remba found a telescope on the crashed ship. Another on the ruin near Myersi. But we did better. We found one more on the crater's moon with the ramps. Triangulation of something. The data is indeed thin. What would help? More telescopes, mistress. Triangulation requires three or more points. If we assume the scope aboard the ship was bound for, or taken from, somewhere near Elbereth, Wait, mistress. Oh, I, I meant to hit Q. I've hit 1, apparently. We've hit this scene this gate before in the Garden of Emperors. The site must be from a similar period. Just as we were expecting. Uh, did you triangulate the thing? 
On the top bar of the gate, symbols embossed into the metal. Ancient. Uh, oh, this is not what the gate said in the demo. It looks a lot like the, the uh, palace in the demo, but uh, this is Joy's? Very similar to you. Of is it is like of you, so you're right. Of you. <laughs> Those are the symbols. It's yours. It it is of you. Something your joys. Um You've got the X and then you've got the light, which just is I would say if anything it was similar to the word for dark. But you've got movement as well. So keep, keep your joys. Fall, return. I don't know how the light comes into it. I think keep. That's a weird um, phrase to have over a door, but I think it kind of fits. Strange sort of way. Does the dust hurt you at all? My workings are well protected, mistress. I hope that does not disappoint you. Let's see what we find inside. We step through the ancient gate. Oh, yeah, I've seen this place before. The wind outside I totally have. Dropped to a hollow moan. The phrase over the door was not the same. They must have done a custom demo. This is quite interesting then. I really hope we don't have to go back through the storm. I'm not sure I could even allow you to try, mistress. Which means this is where all the books are that I had got way too much stuff to be able to translate comfortably. Potentially. This door's open. But the gap's too narrow to slide through. And it's jammed. Spoiler alert, there's a table up against it on the other side. <laughs> I know this, I've seen it before. <laughs> uh... Did this ever open? Perhaps, mistress. But I do not think it will open now. Some kind of courtyard beyond. I can't make it out. There's an inscription above this gate, too. Ooh, the, like, jellyfish symbol. There's one end of a broken fragment. Uh, okay. Palace of This one has a lot of symbols, but I'm confident it says palace. Yes. Again, I think that's di that's still different from what I remember though. Palace of powers Powers plus the symbol for protection. Prayers? Yeah, I feel like that fits. Yeah, Palace of Prayers. I'll do for now. So it is a palace. Just as we thought. Maybe it was the new. Yeah, it could have been. But, like, the words over the doors were, like, genuinely, like, entirely different phrases. It's like, I think I think the, the inscription over the door on the outside was just, like, Emperor's Palace or something. It was quite straightforward. This place doesn't seem grand enough to be a palace. No ornamental domes, no gardens. There must be more to this place. But what? The room was filled with rows and rows of books. Woo! So is this a library? A palace of knowledge? Withering as paper withers? Perhaps, mistress, it is an interesting theory. It seems a bit of a stretch, however. It couldn't be more different than the gardens we found before. 
Nevertheless, the age is similar, mistress. Wait, no, don't try the... Oh, fine, try the door. I want to look at the papers. Stuck fast. I believe the wood has warped in the frame, mistress. Books. Huang would love this place. If he could make it through the dust. I am certain he could not. Chronicles of Mazwai. Okay. It's the book Huang is always reading. There is something in the order of 600 copies of Mazwai on Iox, mistress. But this one... This one is not from Iox, mistress. Okay. That line was in the demo and it made no sense to me. And all of a sudden, that like, uh, I'd like, I was, that now actually has meaning. Like, it didn't really like give me any like context or this context of Malik Mazwai was close to the original. Huang would love it. Yeah, like, I didn't know what Iox was or how many copies there were would like make sense. It didn't really mean much to me before. Now it does. That's kind of cool. Someone leapt up in a hurry, I suppose. And it looks like they dropped something. Here, yeah, in the crack between the stones. A copper cook's knife. I would guess it dates from at least the early empire. Mistress, there is blood on the blade. Not much, but some. Human blood? Indeed, mistress. It is Ioxian blood. You can tell where blood comes from? Only blood from Iox. Evidently, it is a particularly insular community. And there's some small carved glyphs. It hurts my eyes to try and read them. This one is a broken piece from an even longer phrase. Uh, powers... Are... We. That doesn't seem right. As powers are we. My translation of powers can't be correct anymore. Oh, it's not powers. Oh, okay. Oh. Hopefully I can make some better guesses this time. I wonder what word I had that in before then. That's completely wrong. It had powers in it. As machines, robots, rebels... That's weird. As machines, robots, or rebels. I mean, double X's must be like cannot or shall not. Unless it's so. So might fit. Yeah, it's double not, isn't it? It's more, more like definitely not kind of thing. Uh, cannot are we, shall not are we, so, I feel like so are we would make sense, I mean, shall not and cannot are we don't really make sense as, as phrases, as something, so are we, as machines, so are we, as rebels, so are we, a machine, I feel like this is a bit of a guess at this stage, because... Got a tiny connection to Empire. More more of a connection to Masters. You've kind of got... If, assuming this is Machine. Machine is like people, machine, commanding. You've got that connection to what I thought was prayers, which might not be right now. It, yeah, it is entirely in Masters, yeah. Maybe robots. As robots, so are we. I might go with that. On a cook's knife? I mean, I know on the cook's knife doesn't make any sense. The, is there any combination of these words that does make sense in that particular context, though? Uh, 
There's no there's no combination of options here that makes it say I like baking. <laughs> As robots, so are we. I'm just doing my job. I'm a cook. Line chef. <laughs> Dunno. Um, I'm a cook. I'm just doing the same, same, same old day in, day out. We're like robots. Oh, it is absolutely past midnight, but it's also a Saturday, so... And also, I want to get... But I, okay. Because I know what's coming at the end of this particular quote unquote chapter, I want to get to the end of this chapter and then I'm going to wrap things up. If I get once we get to once we get through all of these books, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. It adds the sorry what? It adds the. Now I can go back to it if it's wrong. I think that's correct. A book. There's ancient here. Of course there is. It's book. It's a book. There's lots of it. A whole sentence in the entire book. That's the end of a longer line of text that she was not willing to translate at all last time I saw this. That's a, that, that like six is like an entirely new glyph I've not come across before. Emperor and robots? I'm sure my translation for Yes! In two things, it was robots who confirmed this already. Brilliant. Uh, you, okay, well, I'll, I'll try and keep this brief, but there are potentially a lot of books here. The emperor spoke, ordered? And robots obeyed, obeyed. Uh, it could be spoke or ordered, but I feel like of the two, ordered probably makes more sense. Does Emperor ordered and robots obeyed makes sense? I had this place down as an empire site, so it's good to confirm that at least. Hologram I saw in the graveyard said there was an orangery here. How could anyone grow oranges in this? Assuming we have found the right place, something must have changed. More sequences of ancient. Woo! That's a whole thing. This one is a phrase run together. The Emperor... Robots... Smoke weed every day. Below. Can I my translation for below to my dictionary? Really? Can you? Okay, sure. <laughs> that don't see. Whoa, that's a big word. Uh. Huh? Apparently, I've already guessed a word for banished, but this might be banished as well. That is a big, big word. Yes. Holy butts. Um, yikes. I feel like Illuminate would have, like, the symbols for light in it or stars or whatever. I mean, my previous guess at Banished might be wrong. This might be Banished itself. And we keep... We've heard that the robots are sort of excavated from below Iox. So did, were they sealed away at some point by the Emperor? Did the Emperor seal the robots away at some stage? Were they Banished? It has place. It has people. It has flowing. It has the words associated with... Oh, wait, actually, we must have come across that symbol because it says it's in Banished. Oh, okay. It's not completely new. Um, it's associated with uh, commanding and obeying. Uh, 
I feel like, yeah, uh, ooh, what have we got here? Below, plants and... I think Earth, because the because the robots are excavated, right? The Emperor banished the robots below the Earth. I could still change my mind, but Emperor banished robots below the Earth. If only we could read the whole volume. Why can't you? <laughs> Scrawled papers. Diagrams, but I can't tell what of. It's like my Ari's desk back on Iox. There is a way through across the roof. Mistress, please do not plummet anywhere. The ink on this one has run. Whoa! -hoo 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 -hoo! That's a phrase. Emperor? Death? All? Does it fit anywhere else? I feel like that. Well, I feel like it's one or the other, but not both. If it is those, oh, death. Oh, death is in here like. Th Jesus, death is in this sentence four times. This can't be right. Some of these can't be right. Which one was wrong? What is above? I don't stand a chance of working that out. There we go, that is the first time she's given up on a thing. This is the first time she's turned around and just gone, No, I'm not translating that. Emperor. I'm going to anyway. Death. I don't think that's death, I think that colon is part of that word. That's probably death. That's got the colon before again. I don't think that actually counts as that. That's probably death on its own. I think that's... No, because then... Mm, death as all. I think that's probably a word unto itself. Potentially even all that is one symbol, single word. It literally won't let me actually translate it, though, so... <laughs> Never mind. Statues! I must be tired. For a moment, I mistook them for giants. Table set for a meeting? It's like it ended in an argument. Could have been moments ago. The Eagle and Sun. This dates the site beautifully. There's something wedged under here. A flimsy sharp toothed key. Looks like it dates from the age of sail. Along the barrel of the key, an inscription. It's really minuscule. <clears throat> okay, give heart, um, keep me on close around your neck. Probably is not far off the mark, actually. Keep me Forever line around. Yeah, around fits. I don't know why we got the weed symbol in there, but... <laughs> Protect people, weed, neck, sure. Um, keep me on... Oh, a chain. Chain might make more, more sense, actually. Why would Nick have weed? It. I mean, it's a key. It's just key, keys just keep me safe, basically. Keep me on the chain around your neck. I mean, I don't know why sailcloth people or goblets would have weed. I mean, a sailcloth could be, like, woven from hemp, right? So it may be made of a plant. 
so possibly, but keep me on a chain around your sailcloth doesn't make much sense either, so... <sighs> keep me on... I just kind of want like, robot... Is this jellyfish thing going on? Is that maybe sort of an indicator of metal? Robot chain? I'm just trying to think what sort of connects a robot and a chain and also potentially any other words that we've seen it in, but I don't remember what they are. <laughs> Keep me on a chain around your neck. This comes from the same source as the Bat Telescope and the Broken Effigy. This new find should be helpful in pinning down where these were made. This should help us work out where to look for the Age of Sail site. The Sunken Wash, that is a totally new thing. Cool. I want to go check out the Sunken Wash. Bless the waters. I'm glad I'm not doing this in the dark. whole structure is intact, except here. But there's no boulders, no sign of impact. I think this was demolished. But I can jump this. I'm sure I can jump this. What kind of archaeologist can't jump over a small gap? So long as the stone on the other side doesn't break, of course. Jump? Jump, 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 jump. Yeah. I can't. Not after that bridge collapsing on the garden moon. If the floor on the other side gave out, I'd break my neck. I'll have to go back. Oh, that's interesting. Without that prior experience in the demo, she was totally fine with jumping that gap. Because in the demo, she'd never, like, had, like, brushes with death from having, like, fall almost fallen through floors. And now she's like, yeah, no, I've been here before and I nearly died. I ain't gonna do that again. In the de When I played the demo, she absolutely hadn't done that. So she was like, yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll jump across that gap. And I was like, ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, that was a bit hairy, but we got there. Mistress. Uh, oh, we're picking up a conversation from earlier, I guess? The ancient gods shouldn't be here at all. The gods were torn down, destroyed by the Empire. There are no gods on Iox. So why are these gods here? I guess my key probably gets me through here, right? Laid out reverentially? Are we talking about the gods outside now? Is this, this where we're coming from? Let's try this. Hey! Also, fun to note, the thing that was wedged in the rock outside in the demo was the dagger that I gave to the gate earlier, I think. But I snapped the knife. Oh no! This is the room we glimpsed through the blocked door. Oh, it was the bookcase that fallen over, not a table. Alright. Somebody huddled here to keep warm. Burned what they could find. Books, most likely. Most likely. Appears to be a dented heavy pick. Dating from the early empire? This is mining equipment. How did this come to be here? Whoever made this didn't add an inscription along the handle. I think this comes from the same site as the knife we found here before. Having another artifact to help us pin down the place. Also, after the whole thing earlier about, like, why would anybody leave a key lying around? Suddenly this one just has a puddle, puzzle that just has, um... Sorry, what is that about jellyfish people? <laughs> I need to, like, wait, what? In the... Do, do, do. In the old books, let's see. Emperor banished. Metal. Oh my god, robots are totally metal people. If we, if, we, if, we, if one assumes that jellyfish is the symbol for metal, then yeah, the symbol for the word for robot is metal people. Yeah, 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 that's true. Huh. Hmm. 
and the that sort of inverse equals sign is the symbol for connect, right? So it's metal that connects. So it's a chain. It's connecting metal. I think I think the jellyfish is metal. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. Hey, I love discovering things in this game. This is great. <laughs> it's so satisfying to make a connection that's like, oh, this works. Oh, this works really well. What kind of something? Stone mistress. Stone against stone. What was that in regard? Oh, there was a sound, right? That was it. Yes, there was a sound. You think the gods are coming for us? No, mistress. Something below. Six. Is there a vault here? Have we found it? Found the vault? The heavens vault? I understood this was the withering palace, mistress. This is a palace, not a vault. That's the that is the line of dialogue. I mean, way back when I said like in, during the during the demo, there was there was that line that was like, "Have we found the vault?" Out of context, it meant nothing. But I suddenly I hadn't even like clocked what we were discovering, and I was suddenly like, I'm sat underneath this massive banner that just says "Heaven's Vault," and the, the character on the screen on my screen is like, "Have we found the vault?" And I just stopped and looked up at this banner and was like, "Oh." Heaven's Vault. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, yeah. Suddenly, 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 things are connecting now, huh? How about that? I don't. I do, And also, there's a bunch of statues of the gods, right? This is a vault, and the statues of the gods. The Heaven's Vault. Is this it? Probably not. There was too much more to explore, but you know. Uh, a mural. Similar to the one we saw in the Garden of the Emperors. Perhaps this one is slightly older. Even more worn. Why is metal a jellyfish? I don't know. It's just a glyph. Who knows why? It's, it doesn't have to be like exactly right, right? Does it? And that's all I can make out. Did the first Empress who declared herself holy, did she still believe in the older gods? Still fear them? Uh, that's where I refuse to jump across. I don't know why metal is a jellyfish. I can't possibly make that specific connection for the design of the glyph, but, you know. I thought there was a dot here. Could I not look at something here? So many books. Let's just sit and read all the books. This place must have been fine once, mistress. The scale of the construction suggests opulence. Even if the fittings do not. A ramp is a door. There's no way it fell like this. Someone made themselves a way through. Someone with a robot. I could just use the gate, but... We want to get through with our robot. Yeah, obviously the sand... Obviously it's a sandworm. We need to walk without rhythm. <laughs> the rock. Or it could be a vault opening. To make a roof for the courtyard, keeping it safe from the endless storm beyond. So quiet. This was a secret place. This can't be a palace. It's something else. It must be. There is something about this place, mistress. I cannot, as you might say, put my finger on it. Are you trying to remember something? You're a machine. Surely you either remember or you don't. That is what I would have expected, yes. Perhaps you heard something about this place? No. More than that. I believe this place is familiar to me. And yet I have never left Iox except in your company. I do not understand. The ancient gods all assembled. Six of them. A circle of stone gods staring each other down. Each one daring the others to blink first. Thinking about the ramp over the wall, Six. Maybe someone brought robots with them? Built the ramp so they could get in? 
Well, then again, maybe they took some robots away. Maybe this place housed robots. Interesting, mistress. Robots would certainly not object to the conditions here, although they would object to all the stairs. Right, uh, there's a lot of things to look at. Do we do the gods, the hole, or whatever that is first? Let's do this. There's something in the stone here. I don't see anything like it. It's a device of some kind. Six, what do you make of it? Evidently, it is old, mistress. Thanks. <laughs> Evidently, it is very old. Tell me something specific, robot. I just made the metal in this piece to be nearly two and a half thousand years old. Another artifact from the Great Forge Oroi mentioned? It is possible, but we still do not know where the forge is, or even if it even existed. Maybe we're here, maybe this is it. This one seems to be just a head on a stack of barrels. I'm guessing these are the names of the gods. This one is a fractured piece from a longer phrase. Uh, Empire. So that can't be the ancient for Empire. Okay. I might be able to get, guess what this word means. <laughs> oh, it's armless, right? It has no arms, so serpent. Serpent? That would explain the lack of arms. That doesn't explain why the ancients worshipped snakes. So what words did I... Oh my god, what what have I had that, that had the word ancient in? That now has the word snake in instead? Oh my god, I don't even know, but clearly some of these are very wrong. I've definitely used the word, word empire before, and now apparently it has snake in it? Ah, uh, there needs to be, I mean, if this wasn't complicated enough, I need to now have a system where I can find all the other, I need, it needs to link me to all the other translations which use that word. I need to be able to like click on that and it says, here's everything else that you've ever used this word in. Does serpent make sense in them? For you to like figure that out. I don't even know where ancient, where, um, sorry, uh, empire was. I can't even begin to dig for that. There was a chair. What? Here. In the center of this place. A chair. On wheels. I sat down in it, mistress. They put something on my brow. What do you mean, sat? I sat in a chair golden. Painted, of course. Carved with leaves winding up its legs. Faces, watching me. I remember the texture of the wood. I could barely lift my head, but I lifted it all the same. Mistress, I was tied. Something's happening to you, Six. There's something here doing something to you. I am myself, Mistress. I am not surprised if that upsets you. We should get out of here. I control the hopper, mistress. Whoa! I will not activate it for you. I'll step into the storm out there. You'll have to help me. I will hopper you back inside if it is required. I will leave you as raw data if it will let me think. I am remembering, mistress. I am remembering and yet I have never forgotten. Or he's going to have fun taking you apart. Right, uh, the Death Goddess. From the Emperor's Secret Garden. Still weeping. That's Kibenya. We know Kibenya. We've met Kibenya. This one is Kibenya, the Water Goddess. Nice to see, nice to see an old friend out here. I know these symbols at her feet. They read as water. As we thought. 
I can't get to the symbols for death, though, because it's crushed, covered up. Damn it. A giving goddess? This one seems to be giving something. Or maybe holding something. Oh, I, I, I know. If you're talking about the hole in the middle, I absolutely know about that. That's, that. that's the last thing we're doing. Don't worry. I'm not going to jump down the hole before I've done everything else. This isn't a word I already know. I'll have to make a guess. <clears throat> uh, place of l all light? Heaven. A heaven god? Wait, wait, wait. What the... I need to see. The, I need to see the logo for the game again. <laughs> Where's the logo for the game? Uh, one sec. Um, I can find this. I have this in a folder somewhere. <laughs> That's not. That is not the glyph for heaven. No, it's not. That's wrong. Oh, it's it's literally there on the pause screen. Oh, yeah. No, I was curious. Yes, I see. Also, now I've got a folder over my chat. Sorry, I can't see any of you. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Okay, well, we can go back to that one. Hang on. We, we can have a look at it. It's not, it's totally not heaven. It looks like it should fit. It should fit quite well, but... Um... Place of light. Sun, then. It's going to be a sun god, actually. I think more than anything else. Maybe a light god, but I feel like a sun, you know, it's... It, Sun gods are quite popular in ancient cultures. I feel like a sun god maybe fits better. Like the sun god Ra, the ancient Egyptians and things. They might have been restricted to the dace area. There are ramps everywhere, but steps and bars everywhere else. There's no logical reason to restrict a robot mistress. This one is the tall god from the cratered moon. Just one word. Uh, place of lights. And oh, well, place of stars. In fact, so sky. It's a sky god. It's not. It's not just light. It's straight up the full glyph for sky. There, isn't it? Sky. That confirms it. A sky god of sailing and rivers. I don't recognize this one. God? Goddess? I can't tell. Perhaps it's supposed to be a child. It must have been placed here deliberately. To mark this god in particular? I wonder if behind all of these... There. More glyphs. That might tell us who this god is. Simple one, a place of, let's see now, uh, I suspect, I mean, I've kind of been thinking for a while that, that seemed maybe like mountains or something, I wasn't sure, because it's similar to the ground, kind of, you've got that the arrow kind of thing, no, the, pla the, the place rather, um, Ground, maybe? A ground god? Could be a god of the temple? That seems weird, though. Wouldn't be wind... Fire would have the vertical wiggles. Wind would have horizontal wiggles, I think. Plus, also, I think we already literally have the word for wind, right? So, I think, I think ground probably fits the best. Some sort of earth god? Goddess? Gaia? Kind of thing? Still don't know who she is. Ooh, you found a thing. Some kind of jewel. It's a hopper eye. Yes. <laughs> I'm I'm familiar with these things already, yeah. I can figure that out by now. Strange thing, a hopper eye. It's right under the overhang of the rock. There's no line of sight to anywhere. Does it take us down here? There must be something down there. Run off for water, perhaps? 
Everything's water with her. If this moon ever had any. I wonder. Here's a stone. Nothing. If it hit the bottom at all, I didn't hear it. What's down there? There's no way down there. Can the hopper eye target the hole? Conceivably, mistress. How deep, Six? Appallingly deep, mistress. You sound scared, Six. Yes, mistress. This place is a deeply unhappy one, mistress. Great, let's go in there. So, can we use it? Do you really want to? Perhaps it reflects underground to whatever's down there. If this hopper directed one underground, mistress, then one would require another hopper inside that space to return. You said there was something creepy about this place. Is this a place of execution? A hopper set to carry you straight into a rock? It is indeed possible. Oof. I mean, as we've seen with that collar before, Mistress, I've completed my analysis of the hopper eye. I've sent test packets through and analyzed the minor refractions. I would like to leave now, Mistress, but I can't hopper us from under the rock. You've acquired interesting artifacts here. We've also learned enough to pinpoint a new location, an Age of Sail site. Also, we've learned of one new location of note, a pre-Empire site. I'd like to activate the hopper now. What's the matter? Are you going to tell me what that hopper does? I observe two things about the hopper. Individually, they are of trivial interest. Together, they are as we feared. Just tell me. The eye is flawed, mistress. Internal cracking means it can only refract some of the information passed to it. Specifically, the physical matrix, matrix is not refracted. If used, only the neural mesh, mesh would disentangle. I'm an archaeologist, Six. I speak ancient, not whatever language that is. You might hop her to the eye and never arrive. My second finding is, however, more pressing. The hopper is not broken. It has been carefully engineered to function this way. But what good is a neural mesh without a physical matrix? Maybe they brought a matrix with them? Perhaps so. Could a neural mesh be stored? For what good that might do? Mistress, we have found all we can hope to find uh, all we can hope to here. We should leave. Shall I try the hopper one more time, mistress? Um I'm not quite convinced we're done. I see. So this hopper is a way to kill people. An execution device. Or a way to store people, mistress. A way to bottle them. Okay, time out, time out, time out. <laughs> I've been I've been I've been I've been mashing um, tab to try and like time out for a little while now. Um So the the collar that we found is part of the equipment that comprises every robot that we've encountered. And the one the collar and the collar also summoned like the memory and body and like I guess mind of some small child somewhere. And also Six keeps having memories from something, from some life. And Six also talked about being in a chair and being unable to lift their head and being brought to this place. Okay, my theory is that robots are not completely mechanical. They are the stored minds of people who have been before. For whatever reason, in this instance, potentially, we're talking like six. We're talking about a child who had, I don't know, some sort of terminal illness or some sort of 
crippling disability that made them basically unable to almost move. They're like, well, what we can do for you is store your mind in a mechanical body and you will have, you know, mobility and a life again. You can become a robot. We'll store your mind in a machine and the machine will be your body for you because you don't have a body kind of thing. And something has clearly gone on throughout the eons, which is why Six no longer has a proper memory, but, like, things keep coming back. Loop into a robot. Interesting, 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 interesting. Interesting way to look at that. But yeah, it genuinely feels as though like robots are not specifically just just tools to serve man, but actually the former souls of people from another civilization, which basically mean makes Aaliyah a murderer because she's killed five robots before now. So uh, yeah, make of that what you will. <laughs> um, loop into a robot instead of another human life. Interesting. Maybe that's what the graveyard was about. So the bodies of the people were buried in the grave. So they took the minds of those people and put them in robots. But their bodies were buried in the graves because you wouldn't return them you wouldn't return them to the rivers because they have no souls to be looped, their minds have been stored anyway. You'd be just throwing a body in the river. So you wouldn't want that. You would want to just bury the bodies. That weirdly ties together in a way that makes way too much sense. Because I don't normally figure out games particularly well. I'm not the sort of person who sees plots coming a mile off. I just kind of go with the flow and eventually piece it together when it beats me around the head with it. For me to have figured anything out like that, I think is like, I don't do that. <laughs> if that's right, I'm going to be really impressed. But everything we've just explained and everything we've seen, I feel like that ties together really well. Why was the child in the graveyard? The specifics as to the why of that, I don't know, but... Again, the... Uh, I mean, Six got taken over by, uh, what's his name? The guy we've been chasing, whose name eludes me immediately, because it does, because I keep, I'm terrible at names. Um, timeline. It'll be on here somewhere. Janiki, that's my man, Janiki Renba. Uh, Janiki Renba must have put himself in a foil. Yes, Renba, thank you, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, in order for him to have wound up in the body of Six, I don't know specifically the mechanics by which that happened, but he digitized himself as well in order to be projected through the mechanical body of Six at one point. So whilst he crashed on the moon... Though he must have found some way to digitize himself. He must have known that he was going to starve to get starve to death or just generally expire on this barren rock in the middle of space. And in order to preserve himself, he digitized himself. And that's what we saw when Six got taken over by his mind, essentially. Briefly. Uh so. It still ties in with my theory. But this was a place... I don't think specifically to... I don't think it was specifically execution, like they're theorizing. Although there's, you know, the potential for that, I guess. If, you, if somebody was, like, a major criminal, we'd be like, okay, well, we're going to separate you from your body so that we can put you in a machine that we can control... It's it's not it's not a death sentence, but you will never be able to commit a crime again because now you're in a mechanical body. Why do you not have a head when he was Renbird? Uh, because Renbird digitized himself in a flawed manner because he was stuck on a barren rock in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Um, but presumably he didn't have the full suite of functionality for proper digitization when he crash landed on a barren moon, right? 
but must have had at least some partial access to the technology. It's called withering. Maybe it's for old folks. Also ties into things. Yes, this is... Yeah, okay. I mean, that's a, that is a point. You do, yep, 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 yep. I mean, not even necessarily for the old old folks. It, maybe that's just what they maybe that's just what they describe the process as the 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 uh, the mechanical process by which the mind was separated from the body was simply described by the ancients as withering. But it could also be people whose bodies were withered in one shape. Yeah, either either old or generally infirm. Just people whose bodies were broadly speaking withered were brought to the Withering Palace to be digitized. Right, uh... It's gone. What's gone? There's nothing more. The voices are gone. What do you think they were? Who? Friends. Children. A whole life's worth. By the goddess and her imposters. They're gonna plunge straight over. It's not unfinished building work. The stones were removed here. Lifted away. Someone broke into whatever's below. Or well, something broke out, mistress. What do you think, Six? Can I get down there? Can I get back up? You can, but mistress, I hope you won't. We can climb down into the vault. And it is now 1am, and I said once we got to the bottom of all this, I feel like that would be a good place to leave it. And I'm now finding what's in... Oh, yes, Six? Interrupting me. I have a result, mistress. Go on. What kind of result? Triangulation of the telescopes, mistress. Oh, okay. Assuming they were recording devices transmitting data to each other into a central source, assuming they were positioned deliberately to cover a particular sector of the nebula from many angles, while maintaining a light of, line of sight to that central source, mistress, I believe I have found Remba's observatory. Evidently, it's far further than we have ever been. How far is this observatory, Six? Significantly further than the air tanks of the Nightingale would allow, mistress. Damn! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! I thought Unknown Ancient Sight was a big ask to track down. You triangulated it to half of known space? That's not very triangulated. That's broad and vague. That's... Super vague. Jesus. <laughs> um, I guess we'll um, track that one down later. Anyway, as I said, I before we got into the vault, if I'd managed to get into the vault, I was going to like leave it on a cliffhanger anyway. But like, fine, we'll get it on the. Le I'll give you a less satisfactory cliffhanger. I want to go see what's down there. It's probably not nearly as exciting as I think it is, but uh, yeah. I want to explore that next time. I've been here four hours. It's 1am. This is absolutely the right time for me to stop doing this, I think. Um, we've got a cool thing to dig under there. We've got a bunch more stuff to find. Um, we'll do that next time. Uh, and also, you know, we just dropped that whole thing about the whole how robots came to be theory, which I think I think was pretty good. I think I think I'm, I think I quite like that theory. People are definitely going to leave me spoilers in the comments, I'm sure, and I'm going to hate them forever for it. So, I mean, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I've had people being like, no, I don't think this is spoiling things, but blah, 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 blah. In my comments, I'm like, just never, just, just don't, 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 don't do that to narrative games, I guess. Just if somebody's playing a story that's deep and intricate and interesting, please don't be like, well, now, here's a thing. Don't, 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 don't dish the thing. But yeah, uh, I am going to, I am going, I'm going to, I save two minutes ago.
<gasps> two minutes? Is that just because I've been staring at that? It probably is, isn't it? Yeah, we are going to exit and quit. Cool. Uh, thank you for joining me and for watching. And I thought I would go back to the title screen. I guess that was the title screen. Whoops. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. That was cool. Uh, thank you for watching. We will need to do more of this soon. Sea of Thieves is tomorrow, obviously. Oh my god, It's I've just had a pop-up that told me I got an achievement for losing the gecko. Ah! <laughs> oh! Did I get an achievement for getting the gecko? Yes, there's an achievement for getting a gecko and then another one for losing the gecko. Brilliant. Is there an achievement for getting a second gecko? <laughs> I don't think so. But, hey. Anyway, yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Sea of Thieves is Sunday. There's the Sea of Thieves update on Tuesday. I'll probably be doing something with Tulkus Thursday, so I'm going to have to do more of this on Monday or Wednesday. Otherwise, it's going to be like two weeks before you before I get back to this game again, and I can't allow that to happen. So, this is going to be a really intense couple of weeks of streaming for me. So, uh, look forward to many bonus streams. That's where we're at. But uh, yeah, I, I should probably sleep. It's one a.m. Good night. <laughs>